Yeah, you're right. It it's is. beautiful. Dark <laughs> what an, is what an innovation. It's true. It's necessary. It's truly. No, it has never been done before. Welcome, everyone, to Towers and Gods <laughs> episode 16. We're super happy to have you. Uh, we're continuing this current arc on the sixth floor. Uh, let me go ahead and introduce everyone really quick. We have Isaiah as Jong. Hello. We have Milios as Brack. Hello there. We've got Sun Wu as Wu. Yo, let's get this money. Yes, we have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everyone. And we have other Joe as Damien Frog. Hello. They added Dark Mode to Roll20. What an innovation, you guys. We love it. It's it's so crazy. cool. Look at this. It <laughs> changes everything. It did. Yes. Even the, I feel like it just fits our aesthetic too better. This is exciting. This is good. Um, mm. So, yeah, welcome to the stream, everyone. If you're new to the series, this is set 15,000 years before Tower of God. Uh, we're following a group of regulars who are climbing the tower. And, uh, yeah, we're doing it in Dungeons and Dragons style. So, um, maybe this is your first time here. Maybe you've been here for a while. Regardless, uh, feel free to stick around and see if you enjoy uh, what we're doing. Um, I think, okay, one thing I wanted to say was also, if you're enjoying the show, uh, I'm going to remind you at the beginning here to leave a like. Let's see how many likes we can get. Uh, I want to see, you know, t if we can hit 300, that'd be amazing. Uh, so, but only do it if you're liking the show, all right? So, if you're someone who enjoys it, don't forget to leave that like. Um, but yeah, aside from that, how are we feeling, everyone? What's up? I'm ready to roll. I got questions. <laughs> okay. Yeah, questions. I want to talk to the guards about their abusive nature towards me. All I did was <laughs> say I needed help. <laughs> See, I could be misremembering, but I do think you like intentionally like pushed past the guards, shoved them a little bit, you know? Brack antagonized I'm them. Pretty no sure they had you on, oh, I'm pretty sure they had you on assaulting an officer, bro. I don't know what that uh, <laughs> yeah. Look, I mean, Brack said some things, the officer good. said some other things. It's a lot, it's hazy, the details. <laughs> yeah. It's semantics, really. It was early in the morning. Everyone was half asleep. It's okay. Right, right. But uh, yeah, also one more reminder that if you want to submit your own memes and fan art for the show to join the Discord down below, we got some more bangers this week. So stay tuned for that with the break that we're going to take. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So yeah, all right. Let's jump into it. So last time we left off, you all had fought the two regulars from Icier, Yule and Smile. It was a heated battle, you know, it seemed like the battle was never going to end, but eventually uh, you did come out victorious, especially against Bool, who uh, ended up having to retreat along with Smile, and they agreed to give you credit for the the bandits that they slew, and after a bit of time had passed, a group of you made it back to the city, uh, Wu became Dr. Doolittle, which was kind of exciting, uh, you know, a lot of stuff happened, and then, long story short, you all made it back. <laughs> You made it back to Artlem, and now at this point, you have received a job offer from the City Watch. And you're currently in Rowan's office, but Rowan's out of the room. You're talking to a big guard. He's very bulky, um, huge muscles, you know, a huge jaw. And he has just recently finished telling you that the job that they wish to offer you, which as a reminder, the reward is going to be a free test. You can take it as soon as you wish. And all they ask is that you assassinate Timian, the owner of the pawn shop. Whoa. And with that, we're gonna we're gonna get started again. Okay, so I have some questions, sir. Um, why, or rather, how can you, the guards, create that amount of points, move us to the front of the line if we take out? Timian and just bypass the whole testing system if that's what's corrupting the city. The merchants are what's corrupting the city. We need Timian gone to restore balance. But how can you create the points and just move us up the line? The city watch's duty is providing points to the regulars. We have connections. And what's stopping you guys from just walking into a shop and blowing them up or something? That's for us to know, and not to tell you. But, I mean, if, if you can create these points, then why can't you help the people around the city if the, the corruption is what you're trying to take, take care of? We're not going to answer any more questions. Are you taking the oh. job or not? 
I Let's think we should take the job. We all get a, a free test out of this, right? All eight of you, or however many are in your party. Your only requirement <laughs> is your deadline is tomorrow night. If the job ah. isn't done by then, there could be problems. I think we, we should, should do it. Uh. And, uh, you notice Leaf looks a bit, a bit concerned. Um... And she whispers over to you, Wu. Um, he, he wants us to to kill him? What it seems like, but we, we haven't agreed to anything yet. Okay, okay. What if we just ran him out of the city? Not an option. A... Oh, okay. I mean, guys, if you need for someone to kill him, I would be more than happy to do it. I mean, he did sick the guard on me. <laughs> You mean Timian or the, or the guards here? You've antagonized a lot of people recently. Brock antagonized no one. Brock is innocent. <laughs> Shion looks over. Wait, you you got in a fight with a guard? It wasn't a fight. <laughs> they attacked me. <laughs> I was just minding my own business, trying to get help for the team. Right. And uh, the guard who's at the desk. He just is watching you all, eyes going back and forth. You can tell he's looking very serious, very serious expression on his face. I'll give you a few minutes to decide. You're free to converse. I know you said no more questions, but I'm going to try and ask this one anyway. Other than corrupting the city, has Timian done anything that's worth killing him over? The merchants are to blame for the wealth inequality in Ardlum. The wealth inequality that didn't used to exist before the testing bureau established itself in Ardlum. And what you're saying is Timmy is at the center of all that. You may not know this, but Ardlum is governed by a council. It was the council who decided to allow and agree to the terms presented by Jihad's empire to allow the testing center to be moved here. And the council of nine people, they all follow one person, Timian. I know his shop seems pretty modest, but he's the wealthiest man in Ardlum. All right, so are any of the people on this council from the Lindquist family? Who? The Lindquist family. Timian seems to have a connection with them because he offered us a job. I don't know who you're talking about. All right. Look, you said the deadline is tomorrow night. That's right. So as long as the job is done by then, you have no complaints. We don't have to give you an answer now, do we? You don't, but let's say this. If you reveal anything that was talked about here today, he leans forward and you can kind of see him sort of brush the hilt of the axe at his side. There will be consequences. What kind of consequences? Serious. He just stares over at you, Brack. Stares at you, Woo. You can stare all you want, but what kind of consequences? That, that a stare is not an answer. He leans back in his chair. Okay, we have a tough guy. Sorry, what was that? You... Hmm? Oh, sorry, I thought you said something. Go ahead, Joe. No. No, go ahead. Please. No, I, I, I got nothing. I was just going to say, like, are we... Do we really seem like the type to be assassins? No, I don't think so. Why? And why is it time sensitive? Why do we only have a day? According to what we were told, you sure butchered those thieves well and good. Right. Yeah, don't remind me. Yeah, it's brutal. You can tell Leaf kinda is shifting a little bit. Mark has a question. What does us butchering the thieves have to do with killing someone with a fine establishment in your city? 
told you I'm not here to answer questions. I'm just here to give you the details. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. You're just. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, I was just gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. You're you're just here to have us be your lap dog so that we can kill a kill a nice innocent man. You know, especially after you abused me. But you Jimmy know, Jimmy <clears throat> used to be involved in the slave trade that has been going on around these floors. I wouldn't consider him to be a nice guy, even though it was outlawed two hundred years ago. Can I inside check that? Yeah. I don't believe him. I think he's just trying to convince us. Uh, believe... 17. Uh, he seems to be telling the truth. It might not be as simple as that, but... Okay. Yeah, there's some truth to it, at least. Oh, he was a human trafficker. He got to die. I believe it. I knew I knew he was Watto the whole time. Oh my gosh. I met with him last night. Shady sort. Hmm. But I don't know if he deserves to die. You don't take this job, it could take you months to finish the test on this floor. Yeah, yeah, I heard it all before. Uh, look, what's, give us a time and give us a place to meet you. We'll let you know when the job is done, if we decide to do it. Tonight, here in the guild hall. Meet me, alright? Not Rowan, or anyone else. The name's Hoban, and you're meeting with me. You clear? Why isn't Rowan involved? No questions. Are we clear? Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh yes, clear as mud, Mr. Holvin. How about some cool, helpful things to help us assassinate this man? Like some poisons and stuff. Would that be cool? We're not involved in this. This is all <laughs> your job. We're not giving you anything. So just who are you affiliated with then? If you have any more, you don't, uh, you don't have any more. You okay? Man? Goddamn questions. <laughs> <laughs> you can get the hell out of this office. All right, then we're gonna get the hell out of this office, considering you're not being very helpful. Let's go, everyone. All right. Uh, Leaf goes to open the door, and they all follow your lead out of the office, and you see Rowan pacing back and forth in the hall. He turns back towards you all and smiles and walks over. Now, I don't know what Hoban just told you, but I do know that I trust him a great deal. And I hope you can accomplish this for us. If you didn't know what he just told us, then how do you hope for us to accomplish this? <laughs> Sorry, <Pete. Hi. clears throat> Because I believe in you all. Why? Well, I think you're all quite skilled. And to be honest, part of the job of the City Watch is to ensure that regulars can get enough points to take the test, and I figured this was an easy way to make sure you all could move along on your journey. Hold on, hold on. So you're saying we can't make our own point? No, you Sounds can. like that. If you, if you wish, you, you certainly can. We try to provide as many opportunities as possible for regulars to earn points here. Fortunately, unfortunately, a lot of them don't end up passing, but I don't think you're the sort that would fall in with them. Are you sure? Hmm. Mostly sure. I lean really, really close to his ear, and I'm going to whisper a word to him. I see her. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch for his reaction. You're gonna have to run that one by me again. What was that? And he. I'm gonna whisper. Yeah. Oh, oh, you were saying that's it. I see. No. Her. Yeah. Is yeah. that why you want us to go up? Is that why you're trying to help us? I have no idea what you're talking about. I see. Uh huh. All right, you have a lovely evening, Mr. Mysterious Rowan City Guard person. Rowan We're on Sunstroke. Our way out. Sunstroke, oh, what a lovely name. Thank you, I'm very proud of my family. I whispered a race vulgar, it is actually a pretty cool last name. <laughs> <laughs> All things considered. Well, and I'd pat him on the arm, just make sure you stay out of the sun so your last name doesn't actually become a thing. And I walk out. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, Victor, Shion, and Leaf end up following you out. Um, 
do any of you else do anything else within the guild hall? Uh, no, I want to leave so we can talk. Cool. Yeah. Okay. You exit the guild hall, making your way down the road. Um, eventually, like, you know, if you're looking on the map, the training grounds will be on your left, body's potions on your right. And uh, a couple of guards stationed outside, they let you pass, and you're back into the hustle and bustle of the morning uh, in the morning city of Artlem. Well, that was unproductive. Yeah, I'm not sure about them. I'm really not sure about them. But I do have a suggestion. What's I that? might have told Timian that we'd all swing by today, so why don't we do that? I have some items for him to appraise, and maybe we can get some more information without showing too much of our hand. I think we should also visit the other businesses and see if they have anything to say. Well, we split up then. Okay. I agree with this line. We should absolutely do that. Uh, Victor kind of slides in. I'll go with Eden. Um, anyone else want to come? No? Well, I think it's resounding cool. silence. Okay, yeah, all right. I guess, I guess we're fine. I do think we... How about we do this? We'll go talk with all of the other businesses in this area, see if we can't glean any information, and we'll meet back at the motel. Um couple hours from now we can call each other on the pockets once we've gathered whatever information we want all right sounds, sounds good. good who's coming yeah. with me to timmy um i will leaf raise your hand if it's okay um, of course you can but you sure you're not gonna be nervous around him you know given no. what we just heard no all right i'll be fine i know this is what we have to do all right sure anybody else Alright, I guess we're going to Tibians. I'll go too. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, Shion looks around. Alright, so me, Brack, and Jong? I had plans to go to Gideon's Smithy. Smithy? What for? Ask him some questions about, uh, my weapon. Oh. You should be a weaponsmith, right? I would assume. John, you want to yeah. go with Brack, or...? No, I think I'll go talk to some of the other shop owners around here. See what they know. Oh. Um... Well, I, I guess I'll go with Brack. I want to talk to the smithy as well. But I'll meet back up with you, okay, John? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright. Okay. And you all make your uh, your split. We're gonna do Wu first. Um, so Wu, you are heading towards the Timian's Pawn Shop of Trinkets Far and Wide. And you know, the city, it's the morning, it's very busy. It's kind of like when you first arrive, merchants everywhere, but eventually you wade through the crowd um, and you make it into Timian's. And you notice there are a few customers already inside. Um, wearing various kinds of clothing. They don't seem to be, you know, just your regular resident of the town. Uh, they seem to be visitors. Um, and you see Timian, um, not behind the counter for once. He seems to be off in the back, kind of reaching up and rearranging some things uh, as best he can. Timian, my man. We're back. Uh, Mr. I, I don't, I don't remember, recall your name. Did we, did you introduce yourself? Oh, just woo. No worries, no worries. Ooh, ooh, it is good to see you again, my friend. Did you bring your friends like we talked about? Is this the couple? I believe I you're here. familiar with my boy Damien. Damien's here too. Sorry, I meant to mention that earlier. Yeah. Ah, Hello there. My my green caped friend. It is good to see you. Yes, likewise. And you remember Leaf? Of course. Hello there. Uh, uh, hi. She kind of just waves. Oh, children. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what can I help you with? I'm um, here about that matter we discussed yesterday, but you seem kind of busy. What's going on around here? Yeah, you notice uh, there's some customers waiting, and they're kind of looking around. Well, my uh, my boy Ernest isn't here today. He was supposed to show up, but I do not. Uh, What's up, baby? I haven't seen him. So. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Well. 
We'll give you some space uh, till you're free to talk. What's your relation with the boy, Ernest? Is he just a part-time employee, or...? He is part-time! He was a boy who needed a job, so I gave it to him, and he's never missed a day. It's very strange. Is he a regular climbing the tower? He He's talking while regular? moving around. <clears throat> no, he's a resident here. Not a regular. Hmm. <laughs> But don't worry about him. I, I, the, the matter I wish to discuss, I, I had hoped to, to talk to you when more of your friends were also here, but I, I suppose in a few minutes once I finish helping the customers. And uh, he's grabbing various things from the shelves, getting behind the counter. Uh, he's a big guy, so it's kind of, you know, he's, he's doing the best he can. Um, Leaf's just kind of looking around. Uh... At this point, Damien, you actually receive a text message. Ooh. I'm gonna message you. for me? Goodness gracious. Oh. That's interesting. Is there anything? Hey, Woo. Oh. Hey, Woo, take a look at this. What is it? And I, I, I show him, but it said it's it's a message from Fluxfolk. It says, "Beware of the shadows." Fluxfolk sends you a message after all this time, and that's all she had to say. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. Does that you, mean she's watching us? You and Fluxfolk text each other? Uh, no. No. Oh. We don't usually. They might. Can't be sure. I'll search his pocket later. Um, I heard all that. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Um, well, go ahead. strange timing. At this point, uh, you notice he's, he's doing his best to help the customers, and there's still a couple left, but they're not at the counter, so he waddles over to you. <clears throat> uh, I apologize for that. What I wished to tell you was that you remember what we, we, we talked about not, not that long ago. Um... Well, perhaps it wasn't with you, but you, he points to you, Damien. You will remember the the boy that I had hoped that you would find for me. The the certain treatment. Oh, yes. Well, Forget one of the, my... Uh, I, you request. Right, indeed. Well, one of my friends recently has told me that he was sighted on the 17th floor. So, quite a ways away. What is this all about, exactly? We were hired by Timian to track down a person who took an item of interest from him. Oh, and I'm assuming this isn't for free. We're not that generous. Well, the reward, of course, is pretty, pretty generous. Is Indeed. that so, Timian? Indeed, and it may go up, because at this point, no one is accomplishing what I've set out for them to do. You may be my last hope. <laughs> kind of slaps his belly. Well, that's, I'll get the details later. But what about what I wanted to discuss? These, uh, these bones here. And he said they were worth it. Yeah, yeah. When, when, when you show him the bones, he kind of reacts as if he had, he had forgotten. He pulls out his magnifying glass, opens the bag. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I could never forget. Five thousand points for the bones. Yeah, yeah, I, it's not about selling them, Timian. I need to understand what I'm selling you. What can you tell me about these? I believe. Well, you may not know this, but you've seen the uh, the, the limo creatures. Yes, I'm familiar. Well, they used to look <laughs> quite different, much more reptilian than they do now. And I believe these are bones of their ancestor. I do not know. These are quite rare. We rarely see this kind of thing. Interesting. So it would only be useful to collectors and archaeologists and the like. Exactly, exactly. I, I promise you, no better price. All right. Well, appreciate well, the information, but... uh. I don't know if I want to part with them just yet. Get back to you. Of course, of course. Was that all or was there something else? Did you need help with your shop? 
You seem to be really busy. Well, he looks around. I suppose I wouldn't mind some part-time help. Are any of you interested? Just for the day? Just for the day. Or just for a few hours. 500 points if you work for the whole day. Uh, the whole day is kind of a stretch. We've got a meeting to go to. If I could leave early, I could. Leave early. How, about I, how about I try and track down your assistant? Well, that would certainly be appreciated. Um, Ernest, to be honest, I do not know much about the boy's personal life, just that he shows up on time and is a hard worker. But you see what he, you see what he looks like and all that. I'm sure you can track him down somewhere. You don't even know where he lives? <laughs> Why should I know? That is information that is not pertinent. Fair enough. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Thank do you, you know what he looks like? Leaf, is there anything you wanted to say? Uh, no, leave? no, no. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, Alright. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your patronage, my friends. I hope we meet each other again soon. Sounds good. Uh, so like, all three of you, or yeah. Thank you, Tim. My pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, so as you leave the shop, we're gonna cut to Victor and Eden. Um, Eden, did you de- determine where you wanted to go yet, or not? Yeah, we're on the uh, the. We just left the guild hall, so right. we're gonna head towards Claudius Potions since that's right there. Perfect. All right. You see Wu Leaf and Damien head off in one direction. You see Jong uh, head off in another, Brack and Shion. And as you walk towards the potion shop, you hear a choo! <clears throat> and you turn the corner and you see uh, a young lady uh, wearing these big glasses and a hat. And uh, she's behind a very, very modest counter. And it, it, it's called Claudia's Potions, but it's it's just a little hole in the wall, basically. It's a very tiny oh. shop. Uh, with a couple things hanging from the ceiling. Um, you see, like, these spices kind of beside the, the frame, and on the counter, a few potions lined up. Uh, oh, uh, customers! Uh, well, welcome, everyone! Hi! Uh, we just came in to peruse and, yeah. you know, maybe ask a couple questions about this city. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, what, 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 can, what can I... Sure. Uh, <clears throat> and Victor kind of jumps back. So- sorry. <clears throat> what can I help you with? <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. Sorry about that. Oh, you're... Okay. Um, well, I wanted to see what kind of potions you had available. Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Um, and she just points to a few of them. This right here, uh, this is a... This is a potion that'll help you if you're someone who uh, takes a lot of damage and you want to heal fast. Um, and this one, and she points to another one, this is just a a, a bigger and basically a, a better <laughs> version of that. <clears throat> um, and uh, this one right here, um, this is something that is only known in Artlum. We call it regeneration water. Um, it's It takes longer to, to have its effect, but it ends up healing for more usually. Um, <clears throat> this one here... Um, gives you a temporary boost in strength, and this one um, might help if you're someone who likes to sneak around a lot. <clears throat> Are you sure you're okay? You don't sound well. Victor's kind of, yeah, yeah, you, uh, and she, no, this is normal for me. This is just me. Sorry if it's annoying. Oh, it's not annoying. I'm just concerned about your well-being. Um, you're fine. Don't what worry are... about me. Well, my companion can attest that I tend to worry about everyone, so... <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, what are the prices on your potions, hun? Ah, uh, well, the, the healing potion is going to be 300 points, and the superb healing potion is going to be 700. Um, the regeneration water is 400. Um, the one that gives you strength is 1100, and the, the silent one is 1200. Okay. So you're you have the same prices as well, roughly the same prices as uh, as Timian, um, right? Yeah, pretty much. I I tried. I, well, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> Is there a reason why you have the same prices? 
Well, um, I try to sell a little bit under what he sells just to make sure I can stay in business, but, um, she kind of looks around. You know, between us, um, business hasn't exactly been great, so, you know, just okay. making do. Victor kind of gives you a look. Uh, what kind of opinion do you have of Timian? He seems very gregarious and outgoing and flashy, but I don't know. Something feels off to me about him. Uh, yeah, well, you know, he's, he's a merchant, huh? <laughs> He's, he's really rich, so there's that. Uh, one time, he helped my shop out when we were needing some money, but aside from that, I haven't really talked to him that much. Okay. He seems... Does the city... Okay. Does the city hold him in high regard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could kind of say that. Um, yeah, uh, he's, he's on the council, so, you know. Oh, okay. Are you sure you don't need to take one of those healing potions? I'm fine. Yourself? Like I said, that's just me. <laughs> when I'm working at this okay. shop. Okay. <sighs> There's something wrong with the shop? No, no. Okay. Victor kind of gives you a look and kind of does a little uh, crazy <laughs> symbol. Kind of like lightly like steps on his foot like, don't be that overt. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, all right, well, I'll take one of the lesser potions for 300 points. Oh, of course, uh, yeah, absolutely. She kind of grabs it and starts to juggle it a little bit. Uh, uh, <clears throat> here you go. Actually, wait, uh, okay. and she sets it aside. <clears throat> uh, it'll 300 points. And she brings up her pocket and asks for you to connect yours. Mm -hmm. The transfer completes. Make sure you write it down. And then, okay, sorry, just... <laughs> Thieves in town. Not, not that I, I don't distrust you, but no, you're fine. And she notices that there's an extra fifty points on tacked onto that. Oh, actually, it's three hundred. It's three hundred points. You're fine. You have a lovely day, and thank you for helping us out. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, so, so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Victor just shakes his head while walking away. Make sure you take care of yourself. I, I will. Thank you. Well, that was weird. Ah, uh, I don't... She seemed ill. Not, like, like yeah. physically ill. A little bit, you know, a little crazy in my opinion, but... Well... I mean, just looking at her, she didn't look well. Anyway, let's, um... Where do you want to head, Victor? What shop do you want to check well, out? Well, if I'm being honest, the training grounds kind of caught my eye while we were walking through here. I don't want to see okay. what it's about. All right, let's head that way. Okay, and it's right across the road, so you just turn around, you walk over, and it's a fairly large building made of concrete, and you can tell it's it seems to be newer than the other buildings in town, and as you walk inside, there's a person at the desk um, to your right, a person, and then you notice it kind of opens up and expands, and the interesting thing about the training grounds is it expands into... A, a grassy area where you see people training with wooden dummies and sticks and you notice there's also a back entrance so if you look on the map there's two ways to get in but the entire mm -hmm. like it's surrounded by a building but the the actual training grounds are open uh, to the sky um, and the person at the counter says how can I help you oh we just um, came to see what this place is all about we're kind of new in town so Sure, sure. We offer services where you can partner with others, train with others. You can borrow needles. You can borrow weapons. Sometimes we hold little competitions. You can gamble for points and the like. And Victor kind of, wait, you said we could gamble for points? Yeah, um, we sometimes hold events or people can hold their own events if they set it up with us. Hmm. All right. He whispers over, I think Wu might like this place. We should bring it up later. Yeah, we should probably let him know about that. Do you have any competitions coming up in the future? Like, today? Mm, no, we don't. However, uh, that depends. If you, if someone comes in and wants to set one up, we can get it ready within the, within the next day. Okay, good to know. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And uh, Victor leads the way out. I have an idea. Do tell. 
kind of rubs his hands. I think it's time we gain some points, you know what I'm saying? Now, I think the best way to handle this would be with a couple of other, other individuals, but I think there's a way we can, I don't want to say abuse, but abuse this system. Oh, no. what are you thinking? I'm, I'm just saying, if we're after points, this might be one of our best opportunities. You think we can, like, farm points off of this? You said it, not me. So, like, we fight each other, and we throw? Right, something like that. Now, I'm guessing the way they hold this system, I'm guessing they don't let people who know each other start the event, host the event, um, and also participate but I think we can mm -hmm. get around that. I, I want to talk to Wu and Zhang about this. Okay. You can see he kind of has like this smirk on his face, this evil grin. Why do I have? Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Oh come on! It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Um, mm -hmm. and with that, we're gonna cut to Zhang. Um. Okay. Zhang went <clears throat> up to the place called Cheap Eating. Okay. You enter, and you notice huh, the name, you know, seems to be cheap eating, but it does look pretty cheap. Uh, it's pretty run down. There seems to be a bar with a couple stools and like three tables, but it's a very small wooden building. Uh, the windows are, there's no window, like the windows are there, but there's no like glass or anything. Um, it's just very, uh, a little run down. Reminds you of Beatrice's a little bit where you're staying. And you know, you do notice though that all the tables are filled. Um, there's one empty stool at the bar, and you see uh, one older-looking lady behind the bar wiping a glass. Hey, hon, how can I help you? Absolutely reeks. <clears throat> what was um, that? You say something? I, uh, no, I'm good. I just have some questions, if you don't mind. Questions about our menu? And she hands you a menu. All kinds of things here. You just tell me what to cook, and I'll make it. What kind of stuff is on the menu? Um, like, as long as... It's like... Is it just like... It's cheap food. Uh, I don't know. Just like... There's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, but there's like two options per per thing, despite what she said. Uh, you've got eggs, you know. You've got like oatmeal, stuff like that. I mean, you can you can imagine uh, what else that kind of goes along those lines. Like sandwiches. Okay. It's nothing crazy. Chong looks at the menu in utter disgust. This makes the food on the second floor look edible. Ugh. Uh, you I'll do just notice. Take... You, sorry, you, I wanted to say you see the customers no, no, eating good. the food, and uh, yeah, it does. It doesn't look that great, honestly. He slowly puts the menu down on the bar and kind of slides it forward. I'll take a water, just just the water. Water, Thank sure you. thing. You see her walk, walk over to a faucet. She Is she the only one on the bar, or the yes. other like? That's okay. It. And uh, she's kind of moving around, and you see an older guy at the bar, drinking from a glass. He's eating some food as well. He looks over. Oh, you're a regular, huh? Yeah. What about you? What's your story? Same. Problem is, my month, my test is scheduled for a month from now. Oh, so you managed to meet the point requirement? Yeah, it's just me and a couple of friends, so it's no big deal. Let me ask you something. Does the name Timian ring a bell to you? Timian, yeah, is the pawn shop guy, right? I went in there a couple times. Do you know anything about him other than his, his job? Nope, don't really care. Fair enough. I'm not a resident here. I would probably ask the people who actually pay attention to the politics of this town. Good advice. And by this point, she returns and this glass doesn't look clean exactly. The water, you could swear, is not colored correctly, but it's filled to the top. Here you go, hon. Thank you. And John grabs the glass and immediately just slides it to the side of him. <laughs> um, actually, ma'am, I have some questions for you. Oh, sure, sure thing. You can tell she was hoping you would order. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, what's up? What can, I, what can I help you with? The uh, the guy who owns a pawn shop. How long has he been here in this town, would you say? <laughs> Way too long, if you ask me. And you see some of the people kind of turn around. Between you and me, that guy's 
He has run a lot of businesses out of this town. I'm surprised my establishment is still active. Really? You think he's just too competitive? Apparently his great-great-grandfather helped found this town. Bunch of bullshit if you ask me. Huh. So he's got some family link here. Do you know a lot about the people that work with him? Employees? Has he had a lot of them? Uh, usually I just see one or two in there. Usually a boy when I need to go in there to grab something. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, thank you for the information. And he walks away without touching the glass of water. Sure. All right. And before you do, the, the guy at the counter says, hey, good luck in your test. Yeah, you too. And he right. walks out. Sure. You walk out. Town is very busy. Um, but you don't see anyone that you would recognize outside of the shop. Um, I think he would head probably I'm gonna head over to the weapon shop. It's right next door ish. So to the right. Yeah. So, so yeah. that means that the, if you keep walking that way, there's going to be uh, weapon shops. Um, so you can definitely head down that way. I don't have a map for it, but I can describe it. So okay. you, you head in that direction and the, the alleys kind of keep going and you notice, uh, as you keep walking, not, not as nice a part of town. Um, you see some tents set up in the road. Uh, you see a couple people, like just little, little groups of people that, um, it reminds you of when you went to the testing bureau and, but you do also see some shops now. Um, one shop has a, a needle pictured on it and, uh, it's more of a stand really kind of similar to Claudia's where it's like a little hole in the wall and you just have some weapons kind of showcased. Um, and a little bit farther from that, you see a sword and shield uh, icon next to an actual wooden building. Okay, uh, I'm going to go into the actual wooden building. Okay, sure. Um, as you do, uh, you notice that the group of people talking, they kind of give you a... They all, like, turn to look at you as you uh, walk inside. And once you're inside, you are surprised to see that the shop is pretty, uh, pretty active. You see some people who are dressed in various ways. Um, you can tell they're probably not residents of the town. And this counter is a bit longer, you know, um, but the shop isn't that huge. Uh, it's made of wood. Uh, but you do see a, a wide assortment of weaponry and shields and, you know, all kinds of things. Um, you even see a couple of arms inventories stacked up against the wall. And as you walk in, uh, the lady behind the counter, um, middle-aged, brown hair, says, Hey, something you came here for? Uh, yeah. I, uh, doing a little bit of weapon shopping, maybe for a friend, but I also had some questions if you don't mind answering any. Sure. What kind of weapon are you looking for? Well, um, she's a fast fighter, so she'd probably need something light, nothing too heavy or cumbersome. Okay. Well, needles are probably the best way to go when it comes to that. We got a wide assortment of needles if you're looking for that. Okay, a needle could work. About these arms inventories, how much do those go for? Yeah, new addition to the shop. We only have two in stock right now. Um, but they are, uh, they're quite a bargain. We got a bargain going. 10,000 points per arms inventory. 10,000 points? Is she trying to rob me? One of the, uh, people in the shop looks over at you and, uh, walks over. Uh, yeah, you got your eye on them too, huh? Yeah. He kind of quizzically looks at whoever it was that approached him. Yeah, he looks to be like a young man. Uh, he's got a blue cape, uh, and he's wearing like a some brown leather armor, and it looks like he has a needle at his side. Ah, if I had an arms inventory, it'd be so useful. I could actually store my weapons, you know? Sorry, I didn't uh, catch your name. Goat. Right. I take not, it you're... Uh... Not like the animal. G-O-T-E. Goat. Oh, it's all right. I don't really care. Are you a uh, regular here? Sure am. Me and my friends. He goes over and you see three others. We're just kind of shopping around, looking for some ways to earn some points. 
All right. Well, and he kind of waves to the guy like, Hey, wait, 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 whoa. You're a regular too, right? Yep, that I am. Cool. Well, you know, we we're thinking of getting some lunch. You wanna wanna go join us? No, I just ate. Actually, I'm good. Oh, all right, man. Well, hey. Hopefully, I'll see you around. All right. Yeah. See you later. Uh, he walks back to his group of friends, and uh, you hear one of them say, "Like, oh, you made a friend." He's like, "Yeah, yeah." Um, they're kind of looking over at you. <laughs> Facial expressions are wrong. Um, uh, the shopkeeper continues, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, actually, I just have some questions about the guy who owns the pawn shop, Timian. Do you know him? Never talked to him myself. Can't say I really know him that well. But I do know he's probably the most influential man in Arlem. Interesting. I hear he's got family connections to the city. I don't know much about that. Honestly, Timian... From what I've heard, is the kind of guy who will say anything he can to make a deal. Really? You ever think he's been in a line of work that didn't consist of trading items? Not that I'm aware of, but I do know he knows a lot of people from all over the tower. Hmm. Somebody like that could make connections. So you want to <sighs> buy something? How much uh, for that needle on the wall? And yeah, you do notice one needle that looks pretty well fashioned, well made. It's not, um, you know, most needles are like red. They're very simple. This one looks to be like a steel coloring um, and made of a higher quality material. This one's probably the finest one we have. I'd be willing to part with it for, mm, let's say 7,000 points. Ugh, 7,000. How about 3,000? Roll persuasion. Roll bartering. Roll border. You know, it's kind of fun. Like, a lot of like, tabletop games do have a, bar a bartering skill, but not this one. Oh, really? Is that the same thing as persuasion? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we use persuasion, but, like, yeah. Oh, Sometimes okay. it's, like, a specific skill in other tabletop games. Okay, that's going to be 16. She looks at you, looks back at the needle, looks back at the other customers. You know, it's I, I'm trying. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. She kind of lowers her voice. I'm trying to sell. It. It's been I haven't sold this thing. It's been sitting in my shop for so long. Five thousand. Four thousand. Forty-five hundred. Forty-two hundred. Forty-two hundred, and she leans over. And 50. Final Deal. offer. All right. She she pulls out her pocket, motions for you to bring out yours, and uh, the transaction completes. Go ahead and, uh, you know, can do, do that on your end. She pulls it off the wall and hands it to you. And you can tell it's definitely made of a pretty high-quality material. It looks, um, it doesn't look like something that's manufactured, um, like with a bunch of others, looks pretty uh, original. Thank you so much for your business, my friend. Yeah, you too. And he just sort of waves his hand and makes for the exit. Uh, Goat turns around. Hey, take care, man. He doesn't say anything. Okay, all right. Cool. And now we're going to cut to Brack and Shion. As you approach this smithy, you hear a ding, ding, ding. And it gets louder and louder, and eventually you, you enter, and uh, it's it's not, uh, you know, it's sort of, uh, the best way to describe it would be almost like a, like a stable or something, um, where it's not really a building, it's just kind of this little subsection of the wall that's been carved out, and a uh, bit of a roof over his head, but you see a big, burly man. He's not exactly tall, but he's got a ton of muscle, and you see him working on what appears to be a big axe. And the fire is roaring in the hearth. Hello there, fair compatron. Uh, I have a few questions to ask you. He turns around and he's got a big, bushy beard. He sets down the hammer. 
Wipes the sweat off with a towel, hangs around his neck. What can I help you with? I see that you are working very, very hard today. I appreciate it. Also, nice beard. Looks, looks very, very, very macho. Um, but uh, if you would be so kind as to ask, as as to answer, like, how, how has your business been since Old Timian has opened up shop? Is this a real question? Yes, it's a real question. Like, uh, I asked it, right? <laughs> Timian's been here longer than anyone. Even, he was here even when points weren't even a thing. He was a kid. But what about his establishment? Uh, it's been around for what? 200 years? 250, give or take. Since the point system got established as well? Uh, that was more like 500 years ago, if my history's correct. Mm. And would there be any reason why people in the town would want him gone? Want him? He kind of stops. You said want him gone? Don't, don't, don't worry about the phrasing of it. Don't just... She kind of elbows you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the only thing I can think of is he's the richest dude around. This guy, the man's made of money. His shop might look pretty modest, but he's got a mansion. Mansions pry all over the tower. So essentially, he's his own walking man. Okay. Uh, well, enough about that guy. Screw him. Um, what type of weapons do you make here? can make whatever you want me to make as long as you give me a good idea of what that is or I can try to help fashion your weapon to make it even sharper stronger what type of material do you use various kinds mostly found on this floor all kinds of metals irons hmm. would you be able to make me a very strong needle needles are probably the most common request I have that'd be no problem but here's the thing i want the needle to be longer okay uh we can make that happen i suppose you gotta be careful though with the balance of the blade if it's too long you might not be able to wield it as well as other needles depends on uh, your specifics i want it to be half the size of this harpoon he looks at it you mind if I, uh, he reaches out his hand? Okay, he takes it from you, and you see him examining it. Where did you get this? It was a gift from my father. He kind of gives you a look. You know, hmm, I haven't seen a, a spear like this in, uh, I don't know how long. He gives it back to you, even if you wanted me to. I probably couldn't improve that thing. That's why I'm not asking you to improve this. I'm asking for you to make a needle. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Get that done in probably two weeks. But since we're on the topic of the quality of this here harpoon, would you happen to know if you've come across anything of similar spec before? And if so, from who? Well, probably only a couple times adventurers coming through here, regulars getting ready for the test. From what I can understand, it's not float rock, but it's made of a similar material. Sturdy, tough. And I take it no one has come through with any sort of weapons of this particular grade. No, they have. They're just few and far between. Most of the regulars that come through here, they're still using the needle they got at the second floor. Hmm. Okay. Well, one needle, please. With the, with the finest material that you have. Finest material. All right. Give me about How two much? weeks. Two, two, two weeks? Two weeks. Might be more, depending on how many orders I have. 
But she kind of looks at you, uh, Brack. We might not have the time. I, I, I know that 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 that's hard. hear me out. Hear me out. What if I say I will pay you extra to expedite the order? Okay. You know, a little bit of pocket change to help move me to the front of the line. Well, I was going to offer you 5,000 points. Never mind. Sean, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, whoa. whoa uh, 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 okay, uh, Sean uh, leaves the shot. You're actually trying to leave? Just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. actually trying to leave. <laughs> All right. You leave the, uh, the establishment, and while you're outside, Sean says, Brett, like, how much did you think it would be? So, I, 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 I thought I could reason with him, but he started with 5,000, and immediately I thought to myself, the quality of the ore and the items that I seen within this particular smithery, they were garbage. I can't, I couldn't do anything with it. Like for 5,000, what do you... <laughs> I mean, they're probably working with what they have, you know? They are, but they're also upcharging out the wazoo. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, try to go find the others. How or matter that? of fact, I'm, I'm yeah. feeling hungry. Let's go to Golden Foods. Golden Foods, all right. Yeah, and I, 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 while you're on your way there, she says, how much was that doctor trying to charge again for Damien's medicine? You remember? I believe it was a thousand. I think it was more than that. I can't believe that. This town is... I think the sooner we get out of this city, the better. Okay? You make your way over I to agree. the Golden Foods. And while you do, uh, as you're starting to enter, Shion turns around and says, hey, look. And she points, and you see Wu... You see Damien and Leaf exiting Timian's pawn shop right across from you. Well, hey guys. Yeah, she kind of waves waves you over. You meet up. Long time no see. You guys some golden foods too. Yep, going in there to get some uh, get some eats and uh, restock on some water. I thought you had an unlimited supply. No supply is truly unlimited. You always need to restock. If you had let me help you, it would have been. <laughs> um, are you sure we're going to be able to restock here? I think they said they don't have strawberry water on this floor. That, yeah, they've never heard of it, actually. Yeah. That That's fine. That's fine. I just, I just need something, just in case. Okay, sure. Let's go. And, He's uh, about you... to experience withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, uh, you head inside, and this place seems pretty fancy in comparison to cheap foods. You know, it's nothing wild, but, um, you, you notice that there's a few, uh, a few waiters, a few, uh, waitresses serving food at the tables. The building is made of a pretty fine stone material, and you Ooh. also see a couple of people, like, scrubbing the floors and clearing off tables. And then at the very back, uh, you see a line of people, uh, ordering their food. Guys, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you mean? I, 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 I thought this would be a market. It's a restaurant. Excuse me. Right. How long is the wait? Oh, and one of the one of the people sweeping the floor kind of walks over. The the wait, uh, probably about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Leaf kind of looks around. This place looks really nice. Yeah, I mean, we can wait 20 minutes. Uh, lady, excuse me. Um, yes, sir. Um, if I were to slide you a few points, could you kind of lower that wait time? <laughs> Maybe by 19 minutes. <laughs> oh. She just kind of looks at you. I can talk to my manager. Brack just winks at her. <laughs> <laughs> I turn to Brack. It's better not have anything to do with the top, the crime syndicate you and Damien keep talking about. I think a shiver just went down my spine. <laughs> <laughs> BNA is not is not involved in any crime yet. Yet <laughs> we're still working on it. <laughs> We're working out the fine details. <laughs> Shion uh, whispers over to you, Wu. He was trying to do this with the blacksmith, too. Not surprised. What did he buy? 
Well, as soon as he heard the price, we bolted. Mm -hmm. Why do I get the feeling that's about to happen here? Yeah. Uh, the, the person you were talking to, she kind of just looks at you and starts to kind of just start sweeping again. Just kind of walks away. Can I roll and uh, see if I recognize anybody in this place? Yeah, sure. Roll investigation. Uh, that's, uh, I, don't, I just carry on. <laughs> any uh, any <laughs> bar seats? Can I sit at the bar? There actually isn't a bar at this one. Uh, no. It's just dining tables. Yeah. But you're waiting uh. in line. You, I'm assuming you've been in line. So you're, you're waiting in line. Ten minutes go by. You're waiting there. Um, we're going to briefly cut to Eden and Victor, who you currently you spent time at the Claudius Potions. You spent time at the training grounds. And uh, you're walking down that road past the egg and bacon restaurant. And then Victor goes, hey, are you, are you a little hungry, Eden? I mean, yeah, but there's a couple other places we probably should check out. Don't you think? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I think the sooner we find Wu and Zhang, the better. Or you oh, meant something you... else. Sorry. Well, I was thinking that there's another place that I recall being told about that has that was a competitor to Timian's. Um, and then the Ardlam Hotel. I wonder if a lot of the political hotshots kind of hang out there. I'm wondering if we could oh. glean some information from them. That's a good point. That's a good point. All right, I'll follow your lead, Eden. Wherever you go, I follow. Kind of gives. Oh my bow. gosh. Ugh. Look, but if you're hungry, we could stop it. <laughs> Look, if you if you are hungry, we can go get food first and then hit those two places. That's up to you. What do you think? I'm asking you. Let's go get some food. Come on, it'll be fun. Work can come later, am I right? Yeah. Got time. Plus, I'm sure everyone else has found out all kinds of information. Hmm. All right. So we got the egg and I'll lead where here. you follow me, Victor. Oh, thank <laughs> you so me. much, my dear Eden. Uh, oh my it gosh. It's truly a pleasure. Now. I'm starting to regret this. <laughs> now, I heard, now I mm -hmm. think... There's a place called Golden Foods, and it might be a cute little spot for us to uh, spend some time together. What do you think? Sure. Lead on. All right. You can tell he's kind of, you know, he's excited. He takes you over to Golden Foods. He opens the door, leads you inside, and when he walks in, he kind of... <laughs> oh. <laughs> he looks over, and you see <laughs> the five of them standing in line. I mean, we could, we could go. Like, we hey! Could hey, guys! Hey! hey. Oh, hey. Guys. Up, guys. Trying to have a little lunch date, huh? What? No, no. We, we came to find you guys. We're just, yeah, we we're just heading right. down the street. I mean, considering Victor and I literally haven't eaten since we got to this floor, other than the protein bar that we had, we're kind of hungry. <laughs> and <laughs> so you decided to go for a lunch date, right? Why are you guys making it weird? <laughs> what? <laughs> The lovebirds don't, like the love don't like to hear that. They want to be in secret. <laughs> uh, Victor kind of, you know, leads you by, the, uh, you know, touches your shoulder, leads you by the shoulder, uh, and he yeah. cuts in front of a few people. Excuse me, joining the five of you, and you can tell they're kind of like <laughs> throw their hands up in the air a little bit. Uh, what's the food in this place like? You guys, getting any idea? Hopefully, not too expensive. Yeah. Oh, uh, Damien. I'm kind of feeling expensive, to be honest. <laughs> hey, um, hey, Damien. Hey, what's up? Here, this is for you, and I hand him the potion I bought from... Actually, I hand him the potion I got from Timian's, and I keep the one from Claudia's. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, uh, thank you, but I, I still have mine. It's hey, really okay. Damien, this is a payback for you using your shield on me. I appreciate it. Oh, well, no problem. Next time it won't cost a potion. Nah, I so, got you. Just for reference, these potions are 2d4 plus 4. Maybe you want to mark that down somewhere. Uh, yes, I, I got have it written down. The Timmy potions are 2d4 yes. plus 4. Yes, it's the same thing. Well, Perfect. Okay. All right. So you're waiting in uh, line. We're going to bring wait, hold on. If we're all here, shouldn't we text John and let him know where we're at? Okay. 
Um, uh, yeah, I'll we definitely should. It. Okay. Jong, uh, you're you're just doing a little. You know, you're shopping at the weapon shop. You left the shop. You're walking around, and you get a text from Wu that they are eating at the Golden Foods. Chong looks down at the message and then thinks, "Oh man, I hope everyone's not there." <laughs> <laughs> Do you make your way there? Yes, he begrudgingly makes his way towards right, Golden right. Foods. By the time you arrive, I'm gonna say everyone has made it to the front counter. Um, and there's a long line of people behind them. Uh, what do you do? And Zhang sort of, like, does what Victor was doing, where right. he walks in and tries to, like, you know, scope the plate, like, look yep. around and make sure he doesn't see, you know, uh, oh, too many okay. people. Yeah, the, the shop looks, the, the restaurant looks pretty packed. Um, and you see all seven of your compatriots at the front. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, here. Great. <laughs> Uh, Zhang, hey, over here! Oh, Zhang! Zhang, come on! <laughs> you, hey, guys. Hi! And, and as you walk over, uh, you know, Xion nudges you. So, what'd you, what'd you find out? Well, I found out some pretty interesting things about Timian and his family lineage to this place. Nice, nice. I think we all found out some good info that we can share. Um, and I'm gonna say, there's, you know, uh, the menu is pretty straightforward. Um, they have desserts and stuff, which is new. Uh, they got cake and, and the like. Now you do notice that there is not strawberry water, but there is kiwi water. <gasps> so, uh oh, that is available. And aside from that, like steaks, burgers, you know, ramen, a lot of different options. The kiwi water doesn't have Brooke as mascot, huh? No. <laughs> It's the highest charity in the state. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Is it so, a glass yeah. bottle? We serve it in glasses. Oh, uh, so there's no, there's no. No. Hmm. I'll try no some. Up front. All right. Curious to see how it mixes with my alcohol, anyway. We fast for one as well. Um, and I'm gonna I'll, say you just all order. Yeah, uh-huh. I'll take a glass and uh Max if you guys have any whole strawberries. Whole stra Hey, we have any whole strawberries? And you just hear some shouting. Uh yeah, we can provide you with some. Bring me a glass with two strawberries. <laughs> uh, sure, you, you got it. A glass of kiwi water, right? <laughs> yes, a glass of kiwi water. Right. Like you're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do, are you? <laughs> Wait until you see my new adventure. <laughs> my new adventure. <laughs> well, you he literally has a problem. <laughs> Bring some sugar too. Sugar? Yeah, you got it. Um, I'm gonna say you all order. You can determine whatever you want to eat, really, because this shop has everything. You find a table. You sit down. Um, you find like it's more like a booth um, and a couple chairs at the end. And you all sit down. Um, and yeah, you're waiting for your food. Victor kind of leans over. So, any updates on the boy Timian? Well, he gave me the information that I, that I asked for. Uh, how much help he can be, but I don't know. Something about his ward, so to speak. Ernest, I think, is his name not being there. Felt kind of off. His assistant didn't show up for work today. Really? I believe. Really? Apparently, he shows up every day. He was even there last night at 1 a.m. when I went to the shop. The boy Ernest, his name was. About yay high with, uh... He was blonde-haired, right? Yeah. Uh, brown hair. Or the... or am I just am I just imagining he's Anakin Sky? Never mind. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Cho! <laughs> <laughs> he's about yay high with brown hair. I was thinking if we could find him, or at least get a lead on him, we could get information from him directly about Timian. That's I actually agree. a really good idea. I think he's hmm. the key to everything. I found out a bit of information from the smithy. Apparently, the shop has been here at least 300 years after the point system was introduced. And Timian and his family has been here since this village's inception. So, we... I... I'm starting to second guess the guards' motives. Hmm. So, 
they're saying that they want Timian dead because of what he's doing to the town. However, the point system was introduced 300 years before his shot. And the guards are also in charge of pretty much their own mint. They can print points whenever they want. Why is Timmy in such a big factor? That's a fair point, Brack. You actually was, might be onto something. That's what I was concerned about asking the guy who was, or uh, Holden, uh, Hoban, who was, because I was trying to ask him about that, and that's when he shut down about us asking questions. Mm -hmm. It would make sense if to get rid of the most powerful person because who would fill the vacuum? Probably yeah. them. They're trying to supplant him, I see. At the same time, though, Maybe I Maybe we're asking the wrong questions, then. Instead of asking about Timian, why don't we find out more about the guild themselves? At the same time, I though, agree. Timian is far from innocent, it seems. Sure, but we don't need to play into either of their hands. Speaking of which, Eden, he told me about your little arrangement to find this boy. Gave me an update for you guys. Said he has a tip that he's on the 17th floor and he's willing to raise his price. Hmm. I'm still unsure about that deal as well, because if this necklace is so important and he has so many connections, and now he knows the location of him, why not just get it himself and... What's so important about this Lundquist family? Hmm. But I, I agree with oh. Damien. I wonder if we're asking the wrong questions. Shion if... chimes in. Sorry, Eden. Go ahead. No, you're fine. No, I was just... I'm wondering if the... Because if the city guard can't actually just make points, and they're worried about corruption, and what Wu and Damien were talking about is creating a power vacuum by pulling one of the people who's been here the longest, then... And Brack as well. Brack said that. Um... The guards say that they aren't affiliated with anyone. They're just their own kind of like lone wolf group. What if they're actually like affiliated with, you know, Jihad or someone else in this tower and they need this entire floor to be taken over and Timian's the linchpin? Would make sense, especially since they're in charge of managing the testing. Yeah. That whole push us to the front of the line and take it for free thing just really doesn't sit right with me. It's too good to be true. But are we here to stop Jihad's expansion necessarily? No, definitely no, no. not. My I... other, qu my other question. Yeah. If we're not in league with going out with this mission, are we really prepared to sit here and rack up the amount of points necessary to take this test? Only if there's a way to do it quickly and efficiently. Yeah, that's where I come in, and Victor kind of leans forward. Wait, oh, no. Shion stops him. I wanted to say something. You could tell Victor was itching to say this, but kind of <laughs> concedes to Shion. <laughs> John, do you remember... Brace Felger, listen carefully. <laughs> Take notes. <laughs> oh, she looks over to you, Jog. Hey, you remember when we went to the testing bureau? What was on the news? Yeah, the stuff about Adori Jihad. I remember. What about Adori Jihad? Oh, well, that's not what I was talking about. But yeah, apparently she uh, she beat a, ra a ranker in a fight, even though she's only a regular. And Victor's like, wait, wait, you missed it. <laughs> he starts laughing. <laughs> wait, what was that? What'd you say? Jog, Jog, what was that? About a Dory Jihad beating a ranker? <laughs> That's uh, actually, I see it right here. I show up a little article I pull up on my pocket. Wow, that's news to me. That's gotta that, be so embarrassing for the ranker. That can't be right. That's never happened. Well, apparently it did. It just well, did happen. You never kissed a girl until a few days ago. And that happened, so. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a little toxic. <laughs> ah, love an awful who I love it. <laughs> Now back to the point. That that's Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> so unexpected. Joe's so tickled. <laughs> okay. Uh no, but seriously, let's move on. Back to the point. That's impossible, alright? Because 
Uh, look, I know this new, what, princess system, it's, it's kind of strange and all, but there's no way they're powerful enough to beat a ranker. Victor, who cares? This is a big deal, okay? There's not that many princesses right now, but if one of them is strong enough to take on a ranker, that changes everything. You all should be... How are you all so calm? What does it change exactly? What are you yeah, talking? did they get us off this floor earlier? No. So why does it matter? God. Eden, Eden, you understand, right? You understand. I understand. I knew she could do it. Uh, uh, there's, there's a lot going on. Um, understand that the princesses are strong? Well, yeah, strong enough to take on a ranker? That's, that's insane. Victor. What rank was Adori when she beat the ranker? She's only a regular. Yeah, but what rank? A? Uh, B? I don't, C? I don't know. Did, uh, Shion apparently heard this on the news. And she owns she owns. What rank was she? This wasn't why I brought this point up. I want. To... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Well, I, I mean, don't know. considering Damien say... had eyes for her a long time ago, I think it is kind of pertinent. She really is amazing. You know, she's climbing the tower by herself. Anyway, Shion, what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, let's get back Thank to the point. You. House Lindquist was on the news as well. Really? <laughs> Yeah, also, we saw Charity on the news as well. It's kind of wild. What? Anyway. Um, what do you yeah. mean? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 go back to that. Oh my mean? god. <laughs> what do you mean you saw Charity? Apparently, the someone was interviewing her, something about the testing floor undergoing some changes. I don't know. It honestly didn't matter that much. Yeah, Charity was trying to ignore all the questions, though. I'll look into it myself. Continue, Shia. Okay. House Lindquist. I don't know much about them, but Eden, you brought it up. Apparently, the matriarch of House Lindquist just got married, and it's affecting their finances somehow. I don't know if that plays into this, but I just wanted to bring it up. There, that's it. Sorry. Hmm. I have one question. Yeah? So was Adori Jihad, did she have a cape or no when she beat the ranker? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, Damien. We oh, didn't even see her on the screen. They were just talking, okay? That is so incredible. Leafa uh, looks over. Why do you like her so much, Damien? Leaf, it's kind of like how you really like Brooke. She is an inspiration. Oh. One might even say she is a true hero. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think hero. it's because he saw Lost in Powers. Uh, gold member. He just likes gold. That's all. She's gold. He likes gold. Oh, <laughs> yeah. By the way, Damien, you're not going to tell everybody else about the secret text messages you've been getting from Flux? I'm oh, sorry, only, what? I only got the one. It just so says, That remains to be seen. I haven't seen the thread yet. What does it say? It was a little vague, but it basically just said, beware of the shadows. Which maybe she's uh maybe she's working on her entrance when she returns, or maybe she knows exactly what we're involved with. Shadows. How would she know that? that uh, Damien, you gotta you gotta block her. Okay, it's not good to get involved with her anymore. This is your chance to move on, man. You'll find someone else. Okay. Why would I block Victor, her? Victor, it's Fluxvolt. I know you don't like her, but she's proven to have insight that a lot of us tend to lack. That's what's scary. That's the reason I want her to get away from him. You know what I'm saying? Damien's my buddy. I don't, don't want to see him. Oh, really? Is that the reason? It wouldn't be Look. because she absolutely hates her guts, would it be? Why would that matter? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if Damien's happy, then I'm happy, but she is kind of creepy. The point is, I had some time to think about the message, and what if she knows about this Timian situation and she's telling us not to abide by the shadows, i.e. the code means not to assass assassinate Timian. want to interpret it that way i, I interpreted mean, it more as watch our backs going forward because this is going to be a big mess do you think flux would waste time sending a message with something so general i absolutely think flux would send some like any kind of so she has been there. texting you got you <laughs> Damien, uh i think you should send her a message back and tell her about her compatriots that we ran into and how much damage 
was inflicted specifically to you to see if you can't get any more information out of her. I mean, we'll mention the part where I hit you by accident. I, I really <laughs> took don't. more damage from friendly fire. Don't <laughs> mention the... that part, but, please. But Damien, <laughs> Damien, Smile was the one that said, oh, Fluxy's going to kill me when you went down. She is the one that put you down, by the way. It wasn't me. So <laughs> that m you could use that as leverage to try and get more information about this vague shadow message. Because, I mean, you could you could look at it as the city guard are working in the shadows because they didn't want us talking about it. They didn't want to answer questions. But Timian's mm. also kind of a shadowy figure, too, if you're looking at it through the eyes of the city guard. I feel like we don't have to, to trick Flux. I think if we just stay mm -hmm. honest, it will... She'll tell us exactly what we want. Well, well you, then either way, ask head her. your way, just text her back. I mean, even if we don't get a response, I mean, we can at least try, right? Let's see what happens. The more All information, right. the better. Um, Vic Victor, what were you going to say, man? You seem pretty eager a second ago. Dude, this is, I'm telling you, and then right when he's about to talk, the food arrives. All right, everyone, uh, here is your food, and, uh, you know... You all place your orders, you get your food, and then whoever ordered kiwi water, you get that, and then Brack, you get your own little separate plate of uh, strawberries along with your drink. <laughs> Enjoy the food. Guys, watch this. He, well, he picks up both of the kiwis, yep. and he just squeezes them, uh, not kiwis, but strawberries, okay. he squeezes them as hard as they can until like the, the juice and the syrup from them drips down. He grabs like a stir, stir it up, and he goes, strawberry kiwi water. <laughs> <laughs> Very innovative of you, Brack. Well done. I, I turn to leave and I'm like, this is what addiction looks like. Oh my God. I take, I take, a, I take a picture of Brack holding the strawberry kiwi water and I'm like, we'll use this for future branding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when you say it to Leaf, uh, you know, you're all talking and Leaf is just like, Brack, can I have a sip? Brack, can she have a sip? <laughs> Do you remember the person who first gave you your first sip of strawberry water, Brack? <laughs> yeah, she like barely has time to take a tiny little sip. Brack, I think you're a genius. We can make so many points off of this. Brack knows he's a genius. <laughs> Victor says, Actually, all right, can I talk now? Is this a good time? Wait, wait, keep that an idea in play, though, Leaf. If we get some branding going, we could, <laughs> we could actually sell the strawberry kiwi water for a nice penny. Oh, you think so? Like, actually? Yeah, as long as you design the bot. <gasps> we could put Brooke on it, or... or hmm, uh, 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 Jihad. Lawyers might be after me for that one. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, about that, I hope she's doing okay. I do too. Mm, should check it out now. Shion says, oh yeah, that was one other thing that was said. Apparently two of the testing administrators quit. So it's kind of... Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, doesn't seem like a big deal to me, but for some reason they were making it out to be some kind of big deal. They didn't say who, though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, it well, could have been Charity, because she was there. I don't know. Well, if that's the case, then it's, it's Brooke, Scopio, and H1 that are left. I don't... Yeah. I mean, unless, like, the workshop recalled H1, maybe. Um, I don't think they would do that. It almost seemed like she was there for the workshop to get leverage on the floor anyway. That's also very possible. So maybe I wouldn't be surprised if... Scopio. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Brooke was the one that quit. Yeah, she didn't really get a good deal there, huh? And Scopio didn't seem too happy when we left, so... Hmm. Unless they were referring to you-know-who. Oh. And they kind of... Covered it up. Yeah. yeah. Well, that just accounts for one person, though. Yeah. Right, right. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, to what you were saying. Yes! Wait, you're sure? No more? He's looking around. I can, I can talk. I'll just spit it out, Victor. Alright, alright. 
So me and Eden were strolling along, we came upon the training grounds, and I gotta say, pretty nice place, I recommend it. And we heard talk of some little, uh, competitions that they hold, but apparently you can even host your own events if you talk to the event organizers. Wait, you can host? I was just told you could gamble on the events. Apparently, you can even get an event started. I don't know the details, but I do know that if my deduction is correct, I don't think they would simply let the person who organizes the event participate. Hey, so, yeah. I think I know where you're going with this, Victor. You, you, I knew you would understand, Wu. I, I just... But just, hold on. Do you know the parameters for organizing an event? Do we have to ante up the points ourselves? Uh, that's a good question. See, I didn't want to get sound too suspicious, you know, so, like... I think, ultimately, we need someone to be our event organizer. Someone who can act as the person putting this together. And then we act like we don't know each other. We're just two random regulars who want to participate in this event. We're going to get a payout, right? And then everyone else who also doesn't know these fighters bets on us. We stage the fight and we make the cash. Hmm. It could work, except that there's two flaws in this plan. We could get a benefactor for this, but there's a couple of entities in this city that know that we all know each other. Jung, do you still have your disguise? That's not a bad idea, actually. My what? That is genius, Brack! Your makeup, your uniform, whatever, your disguise! The, the slick black, the sick black blonde hair, you don't remember that phase in your life? <laughs> Got to. If it's the hair dye that you're referring to, no, I don't have it, and I'm not doing that again. But, 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 well, we, we, this city is huge, we could probably find some hair dye. We can get some, and then we can do it, and then we can make all the money we need. I said no. Oh, Jong, please, Jong please. our pockets are kind of empty right now, Jong. Then why don't we just do this job? Let's face it, it's not like- You'd rather kill- you'd you'd rather, anyway. So you'd rather kill a man than put in some hair dye? <sighs> it's not- It's Jong. not about- she just says, Jong, look, I know you don't like going back to that, but at the same time, this could save us so much time. I'm not telling you to not be you, man, but remember what I said before. We can leverage your disguise. Not everybody knows about you yet. This is the perfect opportunity to do just that. One tournament. That's it. Leaf just goes, yes! Yes! It, it's like me, Leaf, and Victor just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, this is so exciting! Yes! And Victor is super happy. We now we just gotta work. figure out how to set up the game. Exactly. I'll leave it to you, Victor. We would need someone with a great, a grand, performative attitude to host a, a said tournament. I agree. I think Damien should be the organizer. Oh, I was going to uh, nominate Brack, but I mean, if you think I'm good. No, 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 no. <laughs> you're Mr. Flashy Cape Guy. I think you're definitely... And you have an anima. It adds Goodness, to your... Do you really think so? And look, Horace Felger can help you with the betting. And you can descend down on the lighthouse. And Horace, yes, could help you skim more off the top than probably what we should get. Hey, if we do this little right. guy. That doesn't mm -hmm. sound very legal. Then again, reading this whole a tournament isn't, isn't exactly illegal. very good. Victor, do you think it's possible to do this in a way that we all get the, the points we need in one event? Oh, so sorry. Not... Sorry. Uh, I thought you said Eden. Well, I don't know about all the points, but... You know what? What if we really... raise a little bit more capital? Yeah, exactly. If we and if we hype this event up enough, we could get a ton of people joining in on the bets. Well, you can leave that to me. So we're so we're doing a Ponzi scheme. Shh. Look, if it gets us off the floor, it gets us off the floor. But the only problem is, is we're still gonna have to deal with the city guard and the wait time. Did that Even guy look well? Didn't didn't uh? What's the guy's name again? Above the table. The second guy we Which talked guy? to, son, son, whatever. Oh, Rowan. Oh, uh, Rowan. Rowan. Yeah, he specified that even if we don't comply, as long as we get the points, we'll take the test, right? So. 
No, he implied that he, like, however we take out Timian. He said he said you should help dude with his request because he believes in him. But he also said when you clarified that if we get the points, we can take the test. Hmm. I think if we get the points before we have to complete the job, we should try and take the test. Well, uh, how many points does everyone have? Did he ever pay us out for the bandits? Um, he did. I forgot to mention that, though. Okay. I didn't add that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't either. either. I, I'm going to say, um, Eden, he just gave, put it on your account. Uh, 50,000. Okay. You can divvy right. it, though, however you want to everyone else. Okay, one second. So everybody can add uh, 62 or 6250 or 6250 points to their account. Is that divided by wait? The 8 or just the 5 of you? That's 8, right? 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know math. Haha. <laughs> I do too. 62 well, 6250. Six I'll put it in. 250. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. So everybody gets that. Shion, Leaf, Victor, everybody. Cool. I have 10,450 points. Oh, uh, let's see. Eight, seven. Eight, nine. I have, have 8,978 points. 10,963 <laughs> points. Oh, dang, Damien, you're halfway there. We only someone need 20. Can someone be tallying this? 8,378. But yeah, what is the total we need for the test? 20. 20, 20 I believe. Oh, this is for, so. For we it? don't. We can do this with, with the gamble strategy. Absolutely. I think well, we can. Also, and, and Wu, isn't there, like, at at the brothel? <clears throat> um, you it's can culture, gamble. Culture, honey, Eden. It's a bar. <laughs> right. There, there's, but, there, there's, there's gambling. And but, then games, there's pool, okay? <laughs> and she was Dinner like, wait, where, that's where you met your friend, right? The one who tipped us off? I can't say I'll call her a friend, I barely talked to her, but yeah, her name was Laura. You called her okay. a source, okay. I just meant that I trusted her. I go by my gut half the time, she owned. So, even if we don't make enough in the training grounds we could technically go there in the evening before we have to meet with the city guard and just double it up they wouldn't let me up. bet more than 500 at a time though however i might be able to convince them otherwise damien could harace mess with the game so we're guaranteed to win that's actually a lot okay what I if, just, I, what if he I'd adds ask... help mizar has been meaning to talk to him anyway we could send them both Race Felger might be a lying, cheating frog, but even he has his limits. <laughs> okay. All right. All right just wanted enough. to check. Race Felger seems to have lots of properties we know nothing about, but I just wanted to inquire. Okay. So if we do kick off this training grounds ploy, we're all about. I mean, Damien is halfway. Wu, you said you're you're at ten thousand ish, right? Mm-hmm. Anybody else near 10,000? Uh, I need... Oh. Go ahead. I need roughly over 11,000. 11,000? That's about what I need as well. Um, yeah, I need like 12,000, says Lee. 12,000? All right. Shion says, uh, only about 10,000 for me. 10,000? Victor? Victor kind of pauses. Well, let's just say I'm almost there. Excuse me? Victor. Matters. Victor. It's, you know, look, I'm just, I don't like to ask for money, but I can. Oh, are you telling me you're rich? No, well, I'm just saying. Do I, you have 20,000 points or not? No, I have 16,000. So what? You have six. Oh, what the? So, so okay. what you're saying is we don't need to worry about your point total. Yeah. I mean, it'd be okay. nice if y'all could make me some money, you know, so I don't have to go uh, all in for more. No, 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 Go to I, daddy. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this, was, this was your idea, Victor. You're entitled to the earnings just like the rest of us. Thank you, Wu. I appreciate that. Uh, he okay. gets 2%. So overall, most of us are either halfway or almost halfway. Ultimately, right. 
We need to double our point total. Or just Wait. over double. Hold on. What about Gossip? Oh, 60%. Or John, you didn't say anything. Oh, yeah, he spent 3,000. Oh. No, John. 42. I have just a little bit over 8,000 points. How in the Pillsbury fuck? So we all need. This is easily doable. So 12,000 points is kind of the benchmark for most of us. And she shoots a look at Victor. Most of us in this group. I feel yep. like we should just be shooting for a 100,000 point payoff with this gambit. 100, oh, you just want like a full. We go big or go home. That's the the first uh, rule of game. But here's the thing: like, since points are so valuable, we should have a little bit for the next floor, just in case, don't you think? Yeah, but uh, just because. Wanna... Here, I'm gonna go meet with somebody after this. I'll confirm something. But just because we finish the test doesn't mean we have to leave immediately, right? We might be able to collect on some of our other bargains here as well. Plus. That's true. If Timian's still alive, or if we end up killing him, and we've already taken the test, then we can renegotiate for what we get. Yeah. Hmm. Well, so let's, uh, let's work ahead. on this plan. Let's start with promotion. Because every big scheme starts with everybody knowing about it. True, true. I just want to clarify, though, Victor kind of leans over, so we're not killing Timian. That remains to be decided. I mean, but I think... A... Wait, what? Think... Are we doing that or not? Oh, okay, so... Look, if we can get the points before this evening, since t tomorrow evening is the deadline, correct? Yeah. Then we can, you know, surpass that. Because I really don't want to be in the business of assassinating people. Um, it's cowardly. It's... Plus... I don't want to play into anybody's hands. There's no yeah. reason for it. That would also mean that we would need to get this tournament arranged by today so that it can run tomorrow. We need to run it as soon no, as possible. We need, to get it, we need to get it to run today. No, we can't. There's no way we can run it. Today. We can't. He said it would take a day for it to get up. We have to run it during the day tomorrow. Brock didn't know that. That was hot table. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Well, I assume uh, you're all discussing. But, but but here's the thing, though. Like, even if we run it tomorrow, as long as we come out on top before the deadline, we're fine. Um, I don't want to... If we get more information one way or another, then sure. We can make a decision, but we don't have to decide that now. Plus, leaving Timmy in on the table, keep your job that he gave you guys for this kid on the 17th floor open. And he seems to have a lot of connections and information. I don't really know what's going on on this floor, and I don't want to be the catalyst to some to more problems, and then we just leave and leave yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Feel, feels ominously like the second floor, huh? Yeah, we can't keep doing that. No, I don't think so. Yeah, Shion says I got that vibe when they wouldn't answer any of our questions. But yeah. Now I do want to say, I mean, I'm fine with whatever you all decide, but if we do go about it this way. We gotta wait two months. Is that fine? What do you mean? To get because registered? Rowan's, Rowan's offer, yeah. Well, me, me and Jong went there and they said 20,000 and the current wait was two months. We have wait. We can wait, we've waited before, but I just wanted to make sure that we knew that. I uh, don't Here's actually an mind. Here's a night, well, this is the only thing we need to also keep in our back pocket, is the way Holben, Holben was talking. If we don't comply with them, then the city guard could be after us, and on the run for two months doesn't sound like the easiest thing to do. Why would they be really impossible to someone? But I don't think, uh, I'm not scared of them. I don't know, maybe it's just arrogance, but... Uh, yeah, I, I mean... Know. I don't think he can do anything. On top of that, even if they are after us, all we need is somebody in our corner. Somebody like, say, the city council, who the head of which is um, somebody that we already have a deal with and who we are Timmy. not killing. Yeah. So you think we could leverage him in the political side that if... Of uh, course. I think, I, think, that we I, think, I think we hold the power here. Clearly they both need us for whatever reason, even though none of it makes sense. Okay, I... I like I, I like I, the gambling scheme. I think what we need to do first, while while the people are setting up the gambling scheme, we need to find Ernest. We need yeah, to get answers from oh, him yeah. that's big. because that's, big. that's gonna be the deciding factor, I think, in, in 
whoever we back in this whole that's big because oh. if Timian can use political sway to get us through we could tell him about how the city guard wants him dead that could get us in very very quickly with him on the other yeah. hand if we betray the city guard they might kind of come after us so I I let's, think that we can leverage Rowan let's find Ernest first we have all the rest of the day to do that I think we, we, we are clearly overthinking. We're too many steps ahead when we should really be working on step one. Okay. Right. What what do you which think step is, one should be? Dang. Which is promotion, promotion for our new tournament, okay. as well as looking for Ernest. Okay, let's finish the logistics for the tournament first. So, Jong is fighting. Who's com who's competing against Jong? Now, Victor raises his hand. I really wanted to be the one to compete with Jong, but as long as it would work out. So you're saying Jong has to be the one to throw the fight? Of that course. doesn't sound fair, Victor. Sounds like corner on corner violence. How about how about how if you if you so if you sorry I can't even that got me I can't even bro oh my god Victor wait a minute yes if you if you so much want to have this bout against Jong, then how about we come up with parameters that you guys can fight for real as long as the outcome is the same? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think, Wu, you're on to something. Wait, and, and Zhang, you wouldn't even have to go under disguise. Aww. What if, Sorry. Victor, stop Continue. it. What if we hype this fight as a Kuhn versus Kuhn on this floor. Y'all met, you bumped heads, you want to settle your differences. It's very common in the Kuhn family to do this type of stuff. And we hype it as a 10 families type of heavyweight fight, which we you can know? get some people underneath. You know, I mean, not that we want to throw family names around too much, but they're kind of, they're both kind of already out there and they're very unmistakably Kuhns. Um, so what told you? What if <laughs> she like. I have a few clips uh, on my observer of the, the two problem. button heads that I was going to upload on Tower Two. What? But if you want to use them for the problem, oh, I find with Wait. that is you don't you don't find it hilarious. Uh, sorry. Damien? Oh, I'm, I'm about that having a coon versus coon. It draws up a lot of controversy as well as we don't know who people will bet for. If the fight is even. Everyone's gonna. Everyone's. It's gonna be fifty-fifty, and who's gonna? Who's mm. gonna bet? We're not gonna make any money. The other thing, I Why? agree. I agree with Damien, but have... the other thing is nobody's taking Jong's feelings into consideration here. We're basically advertising that he's here. Who cares exactly. about Jong's feelings? We're making money, okay? Now look, here's I... the deal. We can. Now hang on. Oh, we whoa, care. Whoa, we whoa, care. Hold hold hang on. on. Hold on, Victor. Hold on. Hold you on. can't just. You can't say that, Victor. I want to make money too. But not at my friend's expense. And if you can't see that, then you've lost sight of things. That's not what I meant. All I'm saying, Jong, I'm so sorry if I offended you. All I meant was, you can you you can take it, right? Come on, this could be our ticket out of here. Victor, if you're gonna be the one to fight in this tournament against me, my only rule is that neither of us are holding back. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a I'm minute. down, except you, you don't mean short of killing yeah. each other, obviously. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Let's well, go. If you can your, defend yourself. Wait, if we wait, go wait, with wait. your plan, we have to sell we have to sell the fight itself. We can't bet on the outcome anymore. We just have to sell the fight. Okay, so what if we <laughs> Victor, if Zhang, if you are going to go undercover back as Gossu, right? then we could hype Victor up as the 10 great families, you know, superstar, ah. all this, and people will bet on you. But if Jong wins and Victor, you throw, okay. that's the, shush, I, shush. I put my thing, I put my hand on his mouth, shush. That's a, that might be an easier way to get the points in a more guaranteed sense. See, like you're right, but I, I was thinking maybe I win. No, because everyone's gonna bet on a ten right, great family. But, okay, I'll dye my and hair blonde. Under that, you know, come on. <laughs> we can, we can you that. wouldn't. You wouldn't look good as a blonde, hun. Victor, just take one for the team. It's it's okay. Victor, this was your idea, and you knew somebody would have to take the fall. Somebody's yeah, yeah Victor, why don't you just take one for the team? You would be a fantastic villain for 
this tournament that we'd be hyping up. Uh, thank it's you. More, I think. Plus, more you'll important get, to you, Victor. Richard, the whole crowd would be cheering for you because they expect you to win. That's true. They're all gonna hit you when the... I lose, though. Like it's gonna, it's gonna come crashing down. And we're, we're gonna, and we're gonna get off of this floor, and you'll never see them again. Well, I mean, yeah. The um, money is greater than your pride, Victor. All right, all right let's decide. You technically have the least amount to lose, Mister Sixteen K Points, as you didn't tell me. Um, That's true. But here's the thing. But like, you know, <sighs> and and here's the other flip side of it. If a lot of people on this floor dislike the Ten Families. They could bet on Gasu, and then we can flip it the other way. So on either outcome, we could stand well, to make a lot of money. If we promote the fight by by tonight, I can go around and see what the lay of the land is as far as betting. True. And then we can base our our personal bets based off of that. Okay. Okay. So are we? Are the rest of you going to be betting? We're we need a benefactor. It. We need a benefactor to to underwrite these bets, and if we find Ernest and Timmy and is clear, and I would just ask him to do it. That's we good would idea. also need to know what the odds are and the and the fight. That would also determine our payout ratio. Yes, I'm gonna need help with this. What if we do like a ten to one? It has to I'm, be big. Yeah, ten like ten great families to one little. Gossu. <laughs> we could we could average Gossu raises his eyebrow. We need, you know what we do? We, can, we need a preliminary bout. We advertise Gasu as someone who just arrived on the floor. Mm -hmm. And since nobody has seen this Gasu, it would be a very unfavored bet for him. That's we right. Could stack the odds against him. Let's do a preliminary bout though to even make it because like. A lot of people like to put their hopes on mystery sometimes when it comes to gambling. There's a rush to it. I would say that we do a preliminary bout has and the victor of which gets to fight a coon, right? We'll obviously let Gasu win that one and then he'll win the coon oh, fight as well. But we gotta put him up against somebody that's pretty skilled so that the crowd gets hype but still feels like he won't be able to win it's gotta be close you know what when you say skilled it, 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 it rhymes with brock so <laughs> <laughs> and and we can actually bet on the first fight as well double dip because we no, don't know the outcome of the I, first bout. Well, Brad, I, as, as much as you want to do this, I have a better idea. Leave. Yeah? You wouldn't mind fighting against Jong, would you? Uh, <clears throat> what? Me? Me versus Jong? Wait, what? you want me to fight her? What? Jong, relax. Don't underestimate her. Yeah. Fight Jong. Oh, that's See not what, what I meant. I don't... I, I think mean, it, okay. This is, look, this is actually to perfect. Save, to save Victor's pride, Zhang, why don't you fight me? Who cares about Victor's pride? I, I do. No, 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 Eden. I'm fighting Zhang no matter what. It's not well, about yes, Victor. It's not, it's not about his pride. No, 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 no. It's no, no, about no. selling this fight in the best way possible. If they see Zhang, no offense to you, I, I, I don't know, man. Look, you underestimate Leaf, but if Zhang is struggling against somebody that they would clearly dismiss because uh, they underestimate her time and time again, and he still wins, but barely. Nobody's gonna bet on him That's to true. beat Victor. Uh. You see what I'm saying? Plus, uh. Leaf might surprise you. You might think you have to hold back, but she's stronger than you think she is. Hmm. Not really, but I get the idea. Everyone's gonna think I'm weak, so if they beat me, but I do well, we're gonna make more points, right? Right, and for that fight, don't hold back, Joe. She can handle it. Oh, I miss being a mercenary. Uh, at that point, uh, the bill comes for the food. Uh, oh, gosh, I forgot are. about that. Uh, the bill comes to about 500 points. Oh, okay, that's doable. Victor, you got this, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I think, uh, I think we could all share a little bit, am I right? <laughs> I, this is 16k. You just, K what are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you very much, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Your sacrifice will be tripled. Just, just 
Just this but, once. All right, just this once. <laughs> I gotta leave the tip as well. Oh, all right, well. Make sure I still present, Victor. I'll leave it. We gotta split like this. Into, uh... <sighs> mm -hmm. Well, I say we go get a fight started. We need, Some we money. need, we need people to look for Ernest, and we need people to promote this fight. I can look for Ernest. I got the greatest tagline ever. Yeah. <clears throat> Just not right now. <laughs> As the front man for this operation, I think me and Victor should go to the training ground and set this whole thing up. I will advertise him as the grand champion of the great families. Just if they need if they need a sponsor, just tell them you have somebody and don't specify who. Right. What about Jong and Leaf? They should probably just kind of stay out of things. You think they should go back to the motel and just hide out for a little bit? Well, maybe. I just, you know, obviously if we're seen with them, uh, might yeah. not be a good look. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go back to the hotel and bury the rest of my dignity and get ready to cheat in this fight. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the BNA Syndicate. Good to uh, have you, Gasu. <laughs> I mean, Joe. Yeah, you know what, Leaf, as much as I was going to take you around today, you should probably go back with Joe also. Yeah, that's fine. I'll practice. I'll do some push-ups. Uh, Eden, Eden unties the hoodie from her waist and puts it on Leaf and puts the hood up. Just so any prying eyes don't notice you. Oh, uh, thanks. You can tell she kind of lowers her voice and <laughs> tightens the hood. <laughs> uh, Shion says, what about me? You want to help me find Ernest? Sure. Sounds good. All right. All right. Uh, I have some things to do of my own, so I'll uh, be around the city if anybody What are me. you up to? Uh, I just I, I need to find somebody, see if I can get more information on the guild. All right, fair enough. What about you, Brack? I am going to go to somewhere to get some flyers made so that I can promote this puppy. Oh yeah, the greatest event in the century. We have Young Leaf versus Gasu, the man of many disguises. Wait, uh, hold on. Yeah, Victor, <laughs> Victor, 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 hold on. I'm gonna need you to look into this uh, observer real quick. Just right there, focus, oh, uh, focus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He kinda straightens his hair. Hold on, one second. Uh, your, your left side, your good side? Okay, hold on. One sec, yeah. So I'm just gonna need you to promote Leaf as your teammate. Who oh. this um, challenger is nowhere near worthy enough to face you. So right. you're offering up Leaf. If he's able to clear her, then he can fight you. Of course. Does that sound good, young Leaf? Yeah, Mr. Victor. You can tell she's trying to get into character. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, I say we split up and meet back at the end of the or after all this is done. Sounds good. I'm sending that video to uh, Brack and Damien for them to use promotional wise. Sure, sure. Okay. And as you all Me prepare sure. to to work on all of this, we're gonna take our break. So ah. don't go anywhere. <laughs> we gotta take five minutes. Enjoy the memes. Enjoy the fan art. And we will see you momentarily.
Oh, and we are back. Thank you all for your patience. Uh, we ran that back a little bit just to make sure everyone could see those memes. If you want to submit your own memes, your own fan art, then join the link down below. We'll definitely feature it next episode. Um, there's tons of material that people have been working off of, which is just so funny. You know, it's so cool seeing these moments like reimagined and in the memes and the fan art. So. Huge shout out to everyone for submitting Y'all are awesome, man. Like, the memes have made me cry two weeks in a row now. So, like, you're, you're killing it. Yes. You're absolutely killing absolutely. it. <laughs> let's, let's keep awesome. it up for next week. That'd be that'd be great. Um, also, just a reminder that if you're enjoying the show, don't forget to leave a like. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, we'll cut back to everyone going about their business, preparing for this event that they have established. <laughs> so, okay. We'll make sure I have this right. So Eden and Shion, you're in one group. Then there's Wu, yep. and then Damien and Victor, and then Brack, right? And then okay. John and Leaf. Okay. Perfect. So Eden, we'll start with you. Shion right. is uh, following where you head. Well, where do you think someone like Ernest would be hiding out, Shion? I honestly have no idea. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think. We don't really know anything about the guy. No. <laughs> Let's try... Let's go try the weapon shops and see if anybody knows him over there in case he's running errands for Timian and going in that direction, potentially. All right. Sure, sounds right. good. Sounds good. You make your way over to the weapon shops, and as you make your way there, you see the same thing that Jong saw earlier, you know, the, pretty much the same site. Um, but you do see a group of regulars heading towards you, four of them. And uh, the one at the front, he's a young man, he goes, Greetings! Are you regulars as well? Uh, yeah, yes we are. Oh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. How are you enjoying the town? It's something. Yeah, honestly, it's pretty nice. I like it, you know? Oh. I mean, it's a little warm and all that, but she just kind of whispers, who is this? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to say hi. Y'all have a good day, all right? Hey, uh, quick question. You haven't happened to see, have you been to Timian's pawn shop? Yeah, we were there, actually. Have Have you ever met his associate? The he little boy, a... brown hair, name's Can't Ernest? Say that I have. Have you seen a little boy with brown hair around anywhere? Um, just to clarify, because you saw him, he's like, he's like teen, so he was probably like 16, okay. something like that. Um, no, can't say that I have. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of dudes in this town, so. Oh, and by the way, before yeah. you head off, are, are you taking your test anytime soon? We haven't even signed up yet, so. Oh, uh, well, word on the street is... There's apparently some big fight that's gonna happen. So you might want to keep an ear out for that. Apparently a lot of betting. No. Way. I heard there's a I heard there's a ten great family member involved. What? Sound yeah, yeah. I didn't Wait, even know there were on this floor. I bet you I know who it is. Who? Earlier, I made a friend. You did? I could, tell, I could immediately tell this guy was a coon. Um he, oh. he was kinda I don't know. A little bit, you know shy let's say a bit quiet but he bought a needle at this shop points over to the shop oh really yeah interesting a really nice looking one too between you oh. and me well you know those 10 great family members they got a ton of money yeah tell me about it but you know he seemed like a good guy yeah or an easy trip to the top when he plays on the the emotions of the the lesser people you know how they are uh, of course of course but when is the fight happening I don't know. I hear it's really soon. Really soon? You hear really that, guys? Soon. We're definitely going to be there. Sounds good. Yeah. I'll keep going. looking around here. Yeah. No problem. Y'all have a good day. <laughs> thanks. You too. They walk on by. Oh, gosh. If, if Chong's already met him, that could throw the plan under the water. But uh, we'll just have to make sure he's disguised really well. <laughs> yeah. Shion, I mean, you can help him do his hair. What? Why? I mean, I guess. Okay. Um. I. You know, the main thing is. 
we didn't recognize him as a coon, you know? So, uh, good point. We don't, we I have no idea who those people be, are. I think it'll be, yeah. Good. All right. You know, there's a bunch of coons, right? Come on. <laughs> uh, let's head into this weapon shop here and see if we can. Are Considering you... Zhang bought something, why would he buy a needle? That's weird. He's a sword guy. That uh, doesn't make much sense to me. Oh well. Oh well. So we'll head into the shop that I'm assuming Goat pointed us to. <laughs> yep. Above right. the table. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you head inside. The lady's behind the counter, but uh, uh, you do see one man in there, um, an old-looking guy. But uh, other than that, it's pretty empty. Welcome. What can I do for you? Hi. Uh, we're kind of new to this floor. Sure. Um, but I was interested to see if you had any like special spears or bows floating around anywhere in your shop. Not really any bows, but we do have a couple spears if you want to check them out. They're over in that uh, corner. Uh, and all right. you, you notice the uh, the gentleman who, who is in the shop is looking at the spears as well. Okay, I'll head over there. Okay. And the spears, they look pretty basic. Um, the one that you have is it's a red spear that's just very uh, basic, you know. Yeah. Um, second it's floor. Just very yeah, very basic design. Yeah. yeah. These um these look a little bit sharper. Uh, they have mm -hmm. like a silver tip that you notice. Um, and uh, the design is just a little more intricate, but overall very similar. Okay. Uh, sir. Too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, you got yours from the second floor, too? Yep. Looking to hopefully yeah. upgrade. <laughs> Same. Uh, have you been over to Timian's? He's got some interesting stuff over there. Yeah, he's got this super heavy spear. Not exactly yeah. for me. Yeah, same. A uh, little, little too much for for my 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 weakness. Yeah. And a little expensive. But um, do you recall seeing a, a teenage boy in there, brown hair, seemed to be his associate, helping him out? Yeah, I think so. Do you know him? Know where he lives? I have no clue. I'm a regular here. I'm just kind of passing through. My test is in a month, so I'm just kind of okay. biding my time. Fair enough. What did you find to be the fastest way to get points? For me, it was hunting Shinwei. I would just kind of yeah. go out of the town. It took me a long time, but that's just the way I handled yeah. it. Hey, more power to you. That's that's an honorable way to do it. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Well, good luck on your test. You have a good day. Thank you. You too. I'll go back up to the counter. Not quite what I was looking for, but you have a really nice selection. Oh, well. I don't know if I can afford it right now. <laughs> oh, no worries. We're not going anywhere. We're here to stay. Probably. Uh, I got a question. Hopefully. Do yeah? You... So, this the Timian's pawn shop place, he, he seems to have a lot of eclectic variety of merchandise, right? Jeez, a lot of you asking about Timian today. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, he's got a lot of random trinkets, goods that he's found from all over. But yeah. he also just, a lot of people go to him because of his connections. He can kind of get someone whatever they want. Yeah, I found that to be, he seemed to be kind of the guy that, like, I don't know. The go-to guy. <laughs> yeah. So, but I did notice he had an associate, a younger Boy, uh, probably teenager. just an employee. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know anything about them, would you? Nope. Do you know where people on this uh, floor live, potentially? As a matter of fact, it kind of depends. A lot of the regulars okay. are simply staying in the hotels, but if mm -hmm. you're looking for the more residential side of things, if you go past Timian's shop, you'll hit a bunch of random trinkets, but if you keep walking past there, that's one of the main residential areas. All right. Sounds good. Well, I appreciate your information, and sure. maybe once I earn a few more points, I can come hey, on back and show you some business. On in. Stop on in. We'll be happy to have you. Sounds like a plan. Uh, okay, you leave the shop. Shion didn't say a word. She just let you do all the talking. <laughs> so, uh, all right, to the residential area, huh? I think that's our next best bet, unless you want to stop at the... 
Is it Fool's Fortune that we saw walking this way? Well, ugh. And you, you notice, you look over, there's all kinds of drapes, like rainbow-colored drapes, and uh, you see a crystal ball on the sign. Eh, it's not for me, personally. Uh, sounds like a fortune teller shop. Yeah, hmm. it's a scam. It's all a scam. Let's just go somewhere else. <laughs> Fair. Uh, okay. All right, the re residential section. As you head there, we're going to cut to... Where are my groups? We're gonna cut to Damien and Victor. As you head towards the uh, training hall, I assume? Yes. Epic. Well, Victor, I think this will be a pretty easy sell, seeing as your reputation precedes you. And let's be honest, a lot of people, they come for the looks. We got them, right? You and me? Come on, this I'm, will be no problem. I'm, I'm pretty sure people don't go to fights for the looks, but I admire you. I admire your attitude, though. You know, sometimes tournaments like this, you just need a hero, a bold, handsome hero to attract the certain audiences. You know what I mean? I, you're playing the villain in this point, though. <laughs> and girls dig the villains, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess sometimes they do. I mean, you're the one giving all the villain speeches all the time. Yeah, because they're fun. Exactly. I'm not actually a villain. <laughs> and who doesn't like a little fun? Come on. Um, it's all fiction, though, Victor, you see. You, you of course I'm not going to end all of existence. <laughs> you make your way to the training grounds, and uh, it's pretty empty. You, you walk inside. There's a person at the counter uh, on the right, and uh, Victor kind of motions for you to step forward. Hello uh, there. I represent the B and F syndicate from the 21st floor, <laughs> and I am looking to set up a tournament. I'm looking to make even more money. And I have here a champion who I think would draw in the crowds. The very famous Coon Victor. If you are unfamiliar with his excursions, that's okay. He has just recently entered the floor, but he is known for killing those bandits that the guild were talking about. That was all him. Really? Is that so? Interesting. That is right. Okay, and I okay. do believe there is a lot of money for all of us to be made. Well, we'd be happy to host you. Um, so there's going to be a flat fee for hosting the event. And if there's going to be gambling, we take a part of all the bets that are made. But aside from that, you have free reign however you want to establish this thing. Now, me being from the 21st floor, I know that we have very different rules on gambling. I'm wondering how much of a cut you guys will be taking. We take 20%. 20%? Butch. That's outrageous! Well, here's the problem. A lot of fights that happen here, they're not very popular, and we end up not being able to make that much, and it's just a waste of effort. You don't understand. I have someone of the great families here. Mm. The great yes. Kuhn Victor. I know his exploits probably haven't been super well known on this floor, but I assure you on the previous floors, he has defeated countless foes in Oof. cold blood. A ruthless killer he is. <laughs> Victor kind of looks over at you, but then... <laughs> He tries to own up to the part. Who's going to be his opponent? Well, we have... There is someone that we have who is the apprentice of Kuhn Victor. And we'll, have it, we'll be having her fight... That's right. I don't know, anyone who comes up. Yes. She's a vicious monster. She'll be quite the foe. Wait, so who who is she fighting? She's fighting anyone who comes up. Okay, okay. Well, that is true. I'm going to roll performance for Victor, and Damien, you have to roll persuasion. Persuasion. Where is my persuasion? Uh, 18. Nice. Okay. And uh, Victor, you know, he's trying to sell this persona that you've created. He does a little pose. He kind of whips out a spear, does a little stance, you know. 
And the person's looking at him and nods their head. You know what? I think you're on to something here. Let me go get my boss. He gets up, you see him walk into a back room, and you see another gentleman walk out. Uh, an older looking gentleman with a lot with a mustache that kind of trails down really far, you know? Uh, and he's looking at you. Pleased to meet you, sir. The name's Yan. Yan Damien. I represent B and F, See, the B and F syndicate on the 21st floor. What is this B and F thing? <laughs> you, you a company? It's a, we are a syndicate specializing in hmm, making money, <laughs> no matter the means. Huh. Uh, Yan walks over to Victor and kind of like examines him, you know, grabs his face, <laughs> kind of feels his muscles. Victor's like, okay. hmm. I think this will be good. You're gonna advertise this thing, right? Of course. I have the great Thaddeo of the 21st floor being our sponsor. And I'm hoping I, I can rope in even more sponsors on this floor. I don't know who that is, but you know, this seems like a good opportunity. Here's the deal. We'll take 10% of the bets. 10%? 10%. That is a little more. That is quite a lot more fair. But what do you think, my we champion? We also hmm? have a flat fee to set up the event of 5,000 points. So 5,000 oh. to set it up. <laughs> Someone of our, of our stature. That is nothing. That is chump change. Of course, I'll pay for it. 5,000 <laughs> 5, points to set up the event. And we make 10% of the bets. He holds out his hand. Sound good? Sounds like a deal. Okay. Great. We can set this up for tomorrow. I think this will draw in the crowds. I do think so, too. It will be a good preliminary to a grand adventure. Preliminary? A great. Of so, course. So just to get this straight, your guy is fighting his main opponent tomorrow. Well, we are going to be vetting people. We're going to be vetting people. We have the apprentice of Kuhn Victor. And if anyone can beat this apprentice, mm. they would go on to face the great mm. Coon Victor. This apprentice has got to be strong, right? Interesting. Exactly. I think this could draw credit. Okay. We'll get that figured out today. We'll host the main fight tomorrow. I want to get this done. So, Victor, of course. you'll face your opponent tomorrow. All right. We'll advertise now, as best we can. Ex that's exactly what I was going to ask. I do think if you want us to rush this fight, you will need to advertise it like hell. Sure, sure. Uh, so here's the deal. Um, when it comes to the bets, the payout's determined by a ratio. So you win more money if you vote, if less votes are cast for the certain, the, win, the winner, right? But whoever wins, if, if more of people course. voted for them, the payout's not going to be as good. You know how it works. All right, just want to set that up. Absolutely. Perfect. And if you and if you want to put an even crazier payout on, say, the, if you see the outcome of the first fight, you what can you absolutely do so. Well, I mean, you know, if if the odds are say three to one, and say someone does beat. The great Coon Victor's apprentice. Let's say they they just barely scraped by. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they wouldn't be able to take on someone of the great families after such a fight. So of course not. But just to be clear, we're not betting on the that fight. We're only betting on the main fight, which is tomorrow. Oh, oh, I see. Yes. Pardon me. Yes, of course. All right, just making sure we're clear. You can handle that however you wish. I expect Coon Victor with his opponent tomorrow at six p.m. Absolutely. Nope. Pardon me on not knowing all the the details on this floor. All right. It's my first time here. Understood. On this excursion. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Now get out of here. All right. Appreciate it. <laughs> you walk out of the training grounds, and Victor says, "You know what?" Pat's on the back. That was pretty smooth. Nice job. I man. think that. I think that went pretty well. 
Now, what's all this about me being a villain, though? Like, a bloodthirsty killer? Like, was that necessary? That part, I don't know if that was really uh, needed, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really, like, a terrible guy or anything, so... Oh, you know you're right. You should kill a couple of people before the match. Uh... <laughs> Oh my oh, gosh! He's onto something, he's onto something. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the image. Uh, no, one, uh, no one has actually seen you kill anyone on this floor, of course. Yeah, right. So, I guess we should get started by uh, advertising a little bit and setting up Leaf against uh, Gasu, right? Absolutely. I believe that we should draw in a crowd and advertise this fight. Yes. Right. You, the great Kuhn Victor. Oh, stop it. You know, st I, you know, I can't take flattery. Come on, Damien. I'm uh, not trying to toot your horn, but... If you want to interpret it that way, by all means. I interpret it that way. Uh, and we're going to move to Brack. Brack, what are you doing? Right now, now I'm putting together the flies for both the preliminary and the... Well, utilizing... Wu's video footage for both Young Leaf versus Yellow Lightning and uh, okay, also okay. getting ready to do just in preparation Yellow Lightning versus the Blue Blur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> to see it. So, so you're putting together like video, video as well, you said? Yeah, using the footage that Wu gave. Sure, okay. I'm gonna say you find a shop. Um, they, you know, they're able to work with you to put this thing together. They give, you, they make some flyers. Um, they put together the video, whatever, whatever you need. It's gonna be 500 points for everything combined. All right. All right. Perfect. perfect. By the way, Damien, make sure you take out 5,000. Um, Absolutely. You. Cool. And then okay. I go out to the streets after it's done. Yes. And I start to advertise the preliminary event. All right, go for it. Come one, come all. Prepare to see a battle as fierce and with as much animosity that you will ever see on the sixth floor. Young Leaf, the plant wielding wave controller versus the one with lightning fast reflexes, almost as fast as the lightning that he conjures. Gasu, the yellow flash. Or yellow lightning, my bad, I messed that up. <laughs> right. And I'm just out there just champion. Okay, roll, <laughs> roll, 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 roll performance for me. Come on, come on, baby, come on, baby. New pair of shoes, new pair of shoes, come on, come on. <sighs> mm, somebody just don't like me this week. Uh, performance four. Yes. <laughs> four. Oh, no. Yes. So I'm going to say you're yelling, and a lot of people, they're hearing you yell and kind of just being like, who the heck? And they're just continuing to walk by. I'm going to say a few people, though, you, you've got the spirit, you know? A few people walk up, and uh, one of them says, where is this where is this taking place? This will be taking place at hold up, we didn't specify exactly where it'd be taking place. Oh, I'll this send is a the preliminary. Training just, grounds. Training. Yeah, I'll say I send a message to everyone after Training we set that up and I say I tell them the time and stuff. Six okay. PM. Right? Hold up, above the table though, yeah. the the preliminary is different than the official fight, because he said for the mm. official fight at six PM. Oh, uh, true, 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 true. Yeah. So do the fight do the preliminary like an hour before. Okay. It will take place at 5 p.m. tomorrow at the training grounds. Okay, okay. And what's in it for us if we go? You get to bet on the fight between these two. Oh, interesting. And, and you, you hear them kind of start to whisper a little bit? Okay. Uh, if I were you, if I were you, I would put my money on Yellow Leaf. It is. It has been heard that on the second floor, she gave... The yellow lightning, quite the punch. Put him right on his butt cheeks. This little girl did that? I think this fight yes. is so easy. All right. I mean, all right. I guess we'll go. And, uh, you know, you're, you're gathering a little bit of a crowd and you're continuing to, you know, preach about all this. Um, woo. Oh, I'm, uh, 
Searching. I'm going to your honey. All right. Who would have thought? You make your way to your honey. Uh, I'm going to sit at the bar. And can I roll investigation? Give me one sec. Uh, yeah, okay. You walk in. You see everything uh, that you saw last time. And yeah. Uh, what, what are you looking for, though? I'm looking for leads on Laura. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and uh, roll investigation for me. Okay. Hold on, what is my... my? Oh, it's only plus one. Whatever, that's fine. Fourteen. Fourteen. So you're, you're just looking for any signs, traces? Yeah, anything, anything I can figure out just by looking as to where she might be, or if she's there currently. Okay. You see zero sign of her. Now, it's the same bartender that was there last time, uh, so you do make note of that. But aside from that, no sign of Laura. I'm gonna buy one of his cheap, cheap as sales and uh, ask him if he knows anything about Laura. Laura, yeah, she would come in from time to time, a couple times. But I know she took her test me. recently, but uh, have you seen her here in the last day or two? Nope, when she came in with you, that was the last we saw of her. Hmm, interesting. Well, while I'm here, even though you don't seem like you can help me. Can I ask why you guys limit your bets the way you do? Uh, public policy, company policy, number of reasons. A lot of it's because the council has voted that we limit it. So there's certain restrictions sure. on what we can or can't do. And the, count the council's vote is limiting your profits. So be honest with me. Where's the real gambling happening in this place? In Artlem? No, in your establishment. Don't play with me. Roll persuasion. Just cut it. Just cut it right there. <laughs> it's a nat one. <laughs> Damn. Don't lie to me. Look, kid, look, kid. Look, I'm, I, I don't know you well enough yet. I'm sorry, all right? That's fine. How about if I make a big bet to prove myself? What kind of bet? I don't know. You tell me you seem like a gambling man. Look, I'm sorry. If you're here for a drink, you're here for a drink. Here you go. I swallow the drink immediately. Well... It's not like this did anything for me. I guess I have to figure this out on my own. Appreciate you though. That'll be two be points. Back. Yeah, yeah. Here's four. Uh, appreciate your generosity. Uh, on your uh -huh. way out, you see. Or are you, are you heading out? You said. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. Uh, you do see uh, one of the hostesses walk over. Uh, she's wearing like a bunny suit. Well, 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 well. You're not leaving yet, are you, sir? I mean, I thought I would. I was looking for a friend, and they don't seem to be here. Well, Plus, your bartender was kind of rude because I wanted to gamble, and uh, I'm sorry about it. Was very accommodating. You know, sometimes that side of the building doesn't exactly serve your needs, and if you're looking for a friend, I might be able to help you. Well, when you put it like that, you sound very accommodating. Not like that, fool. Sure, why not? Well, step on over here then. And uh, she leads you into the other side of the building where you see there's like couches and chairs. Um, there's not a bar over here. Uh, you do notice that there's some stairs that head up into the upper floor, but she just leads you into uh, one of the couches and she motions. Is there anyone in particular that you would be interested in speaking with? My role perception to see who would be the most yes, likely can. to have information. Yes, you can. <sighs> They're about to get him. He ain't coming home tonight. Relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> relax. That's an 18. 18. He's okay. working. He's working. <laughs> so I want the person that's the most likely to know about Laura. Okay. Many of them, they, they seem to be just 
talking with other customers, or some of them are looking at you and winking. Um, give me one sec. Uh, you know, it's um, gonna be a dude, isn't it? Gonna <laughs> be a dude. Uh, various men and women. Uh, you do see one person. Uh, a uh, you know, um, a redhead. She is sitting at the chair, and she seems to be have a much more serious look on her face, as if something's on her mind more. And you get a feeling that's the one that would stand out. Is she uh, working tonight? Oh, she most certainly is one of our newest workers. What's her name? Hua Ryun. <laughs> Don't spoil it! The reveal! Dang it! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> her name is Jenna. Yeah, I think uh, me and Jenna would get along just fine. Of course. Uh, you see her walk over and uh, whisper. She looks over at you, nods, and she puts on a smile and walks over and sits right down next to you. How can I help you, sir? Hey, Jenna, you doing all right? You don't seem to be in the best mood. Oh, um, and she puts her hand on your knee. I'm so sorry. It's not, it wasn't my intention. I put my hand on her hand. Look, Jenna, we don't need to do all this right now. I'll pay for your time, but I'm just here to get to know you and ask a couple of questions if you don't mind. But let's make it look like we're having fun. Oh, well, she looks around. <sighs> Sounds good. Thanks. Oh, thank God. She Rough her day, head. huh? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Well, this kind of place doesn't seem to suit somebody like you. Well, gotta pay the bills somehow. Fair enough. Uh, question, because nobody else seems to be asking or answering mine around here. One, uh, have you seen a, a girl come by here, regular, named Laura? She's a scout. Yeah. Can knock yeah. a pack of things. Yeah? yeah she's, she was in here a couple times. You have any idea where I might find her? I know she took her test recently, but I doubt she left the floor already. That is a good question, but normally when you take the test, you do end up leaving the same day. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. I'm not sure well, why this floor handles it like that. That's information that I didn't have before. Appreciate you for that. Of course, of course. And, uh, you haven't been working here too long, I take it. No, no, I tried finding other jobs, but it's tough. Well, while you've been here, have you heard anything about, uh, any secret gambles, higher stakes, backroom type of thing? Oh, um, unfortunately, the council limits that kind of thing. Yeah, I can't imagine a place such as this would care what the council has to say. Well, between you and me, Residents of the Artlim Hotel seem to have some kind of exception to that rule. If you're staying there, or if you're someone who has influence, sometimes in evenings they hold private sessions there and the council just overlooks it. Good to know, good to know. Last thing before I leave, uh, you haven't been working here long, but I think you've been in the city for a little bit. What do you make of the guild? Yeah, my uh, my whole life. Um, the guild, you say? Well, I know one thing. They claim to be defenders of this city, but when we're attacked by Shinwei out of nowhere, which hasn't been happening, and it's happened way more than it should have, they do basically nothing about it and let the regulars handle it. Which I get it, they're trying to give them opportunities for points, but... No, now that you say that, it sounds convenient. As a matter of fact, they let us handle a few the other day. Really? Doesn't really make any sense if they have the numbers. Yeah. It seems all too convenient. Well, I appreciate also, your time. Well, oh, you got something more? Yeah, while we're on the topic, they do nothing about the poor people living in this town. Oh, really? Because I heard the merchants were the real issue with... The, the disparity that's happening in this town. You can blame the merchants, but all the City Watch does is try to separate them from everyone else. Hmm. You know what? You might be the favorite person I've talked to today. Here you go, for your, for your time. 
Uh, I'll give her uh, 500. Uh, are, are you sure? It's just a couple questions. I mean. Yeah, and you've been more than helpful. Thank you. Appreciate that. And she looks happy, much happier than she did when you first came into the establishment. Well, have a good night. I might be back. I'll make sure to have a drink with you if I do. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. Take care. And she puts back on her, her business face as you uh, leave. All right. Okay, we're going to cut to Jong and Leaf, who are making their way back to the Beatrices. Is that right? Uh, yes, right? Making That's... my way. Yes. Okay. You're walking there, and uh, Leaf is wearing the jacket and kind of like looking around, and you can tell she's kind of nervous. Do you think anyone can is going to recognize me? I hope not. Leaf, please don't take this the wrong way, but I don't think anybody cares that you're here. Yeah. Yeah. And you continue to make your way to the place, and uh, you see the old lady in the rocking chair. Where have you been? Out, Granny. Huh? What was that? And she picks up her walking stick. You better watch your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about him. We're just going to go back to the, to the room. She just watches you. Her eyes squinted. <laughs> continues to rock. You uh, make your way to the room. <sighs> you know, when we fight, try not to beat me up too bad, okay? Well, uh, yeah. No, don't worry. It's just a fake fight, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah, just a fake fight. Someday, I do want to be a better wave controller than you, though. That's my goal. A better wave controller than me, huh? I mean, it's going to be really hard, but I recently learned this. And she focuses her wand, and you see those vines kind of sprout out from the ground slowly. <sighs> it takes a lot of concentration, though. Well, Leaf, I think you're... You may be closer to that goal than you think. And he kind of grips his sword when he says that. Thanks. Do you think I should get a weapon like you? I noticed you use Shinsu, but you also have your sword. No. It's, uh... <laughs> it's just a crutch, you know? Sometimes I can't rely on Shinsu all the time, so... I use this when I have to. Well, what if I can't rely on Shinsu? Well, I don't think you'll have to worry about that. After all, you're going to be a better wave controller than me, right? <laughs> she smiles. True. But that means I got to start practicing. And she uh, starts trying to do push-ups on the floor as hard as best as she can. She does like a couple of them. What do you choose to and do? And Jean, Jean, at this time, he goes into his room and grabs a bag that he had that he's been carrying with him okay. and pulls out like a container of blonde hair dye and he's just kind of holding it looking at it he lied sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay sounds good okay now i'm just gonna say who needs to finish up their task who who wants to so i, I guess eden would be a good one to cut to here so, yeah. Brack, I'm going to say... Actually, Brack, really quick. Roll performance one more time for me. Two. <laughs> no! Wait, two? Wait, is that including your bonus? It's, my bonus is zero. So it's two. <laughs> oh, no! All right. All right. Uh, sounds good? Uh, yeah, the crowd's pretty small. Take it all back. The crowd that is small seems engaged. Relatively. Okay. <laughs> Cutting to uh, Eden and Shion, you make your way towards the area that you were heading towards, the residential area. You pass by some trinket shops. Nothing that really catches your eye. It's mostly just like, you know, dream catchers and scarfs and this kind of, you know, just very, nothing that would aid you in particular. Mm -hmm. But you do eventually make your way to an area where you see a bunch of 
buildings. And at first, you know, they're really tall. Um, some of them have names on them, like, you know, lots and uh, various thing, apartment complexes or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. The more you, you, you look around and as you head down, it starts to get a little bit worse, a little bit worse, a little more run down. A lot more people outside. Um, some people just kind of sitting there with a cloak over them, uh, sitting beside the building. Um, now, roll perception for me. Alrighty. Ooh. That is going to be a dirty 20. Okay. Shion's looking around. I don't think I see him. But then, you notice... It's either him or it looks extremely similar, and he's kind of making his way into an alley. You just, you just, it just caught your eye. Shion, follow me, and I take off at a oh. fast walking pace, but not like full on sprinting. Okay, sure. You, Determined um, walk. <laughs> yeah, you cut that corner, and you see him walking down the alley, but he's kind of just walking slowly with his head down, and you're behind him. It's a very narrow alley. Uh, I put my hand on him, but I grip, so like, if he starts to run off, I have a chance to, like, okay. keep him there. <laughs> he just hey! jumps. <laughs> Hi, Ernest. Is it Ernest? Yeah, it is Ernest. Okay, okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, I heard you didn't go to work today. Is everything all right? He, he tries to shrug your grip off of him. Everything's fine. He, he looks awful. He looks visibly shaken. His face is like horrified. He looks oh. terrible. Eden kind of like, instead of a strength grip, now she puts an arm more like around him, like in a nicer fashion. Hey, dude, what's going on? No, nothing, nothing, okay? Hey, we can help you. What's going on? He stares Did at Timian you. Did Timian do something to you? You were the one. What do you mean? He's kind of backing away a little bit. You can tell he's got a lot in his mind. I sell my arm around him, so he can't go too far. <laughs> he's going to try to shrug it off. Uh, roll athletics. Huh? <laughs> or, okay. Athletics. We'll say that. Strong arm, I'm eating. You was able to punch Brack in the face. And I know. Up. That's an 18. Okay. You can tell he really doesn't want you to, but your grip is iron. And he's... <laughs> <clears throat> look, I said get off me. Look, I'm just trying to help and find out some information on what's going on in this city. And when we heard you mysteriously disappeared, we figured you'd be a good person to talk to. You might be the only honest person here. You can see tears welling up in his eyes. Were you the Eden ones- Eden pulls him in for a hug. <laughs> Get off of me! Were you the ones who killed them? Killed who? The, the thieves. The bandits? Shion says, yeah, what about it? Oh. And he immediately, you see a look of fury on his face. Oh, he tries shit. to go for a punch but he completely misses you. He punches the wall. How, how could you do that? You're Ernest. innocent. Come on. Why did and you, I, why? I shoot a look to Xion and, Ernest, we might've taken credit for that, but we weren't the ones who did it. We mean? need points. There were two other people that slaughtered the bandits. It wasn't us. We didn't have anything to do with it. By the time we got to the cave, they were all already dead. We would have killed them, though. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 well, we didn't do it, so it don't matter. I'm telling the truth. Uh, roll persuasion for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, we 16. Be we just didn't. <laughs> how, how, could I, how can I believe you? Because we fought the people who killed them. He looks at you. They, 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 they weren't 
They weren't bad. They were just trying to survive. Everyone made and that's them out what, to be killers. They that's weren't. What, that's what we found out. When we searched the room with their bodies, they didn't have anything. Nothing like these notorious bandits or brigands that the city guard made them out to be. Which is why I was suspicious of what the city guard was asking us to do, which is why we wanted to talk to you. They have two of my friends. In prison. The city guard does? Yeah, they, 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 they found them a couple days ago. Okay. And... It's just... I don't know what to do. Like, they're, they're in jail, and, and now everyone else is gone, and... I don't know. Where's the jail? It's under the guild hall. Do they have a bond you could put, or how how much would it cost to get them out? They wouldn't work with someone like me. I don't I'm know. talking about somebody like me. They've already tried to make a deal with me, so they have some level of trust. I don't know if they're gonna let them free. What did they do? Who killed them, by the way? Who who did it? Uh, a girl that looked like a clown and a guy that could shoot purple flames. What? <laughs> oh my God. Here's what happened. And okay. apparently they had a, a getaway person as well. Kid with green hair. He didn't have green hair, just for the record. I um, thought you said he had green hair. He had a green hat, I think, and a yellow shirt. Oh, green. That's what yeah. I probably heard. Okay. Green hat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> on the table. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. I just because I know a lot of people thought it was the blind boy. I just kind of wanted to. You know. Yeah, well, that's why I rolled perception. That's why you say they looked similar, but they weren't the same. Mm -hmm. You could, you said I, I could tell that he wasn't blind. I was like, right. oh, okay, okay. Yes, yes. All right. Oh, I made the inference. My bad. Very yeah, good. So there's three of them. At this point. And they're pretty strong. We had two of our. Two of our people go down pretty badly. Uh, roll perception for me. Uh oh. Not as good. Not as good. That's a nine. Well, uh, don't worry, because Shion says, "Hey, hmm. someone, someone's coming." And you, it takes you a second, but you do hear footsteps now that Shion told you. Oh, shit. Ernest, walk with us. Quickly. Okay, okay. Come on. And right. I kind of like guide him, and we're heading out the other, the, from away from the, the okay. footfalls. Okay, you turn the corner, and you look back, and you notice someone was just about to turn the corner, but you turn the other corner. <sighs> out of sight. Okay. Uh, is Ernest wearing any type of hooded clothing? Any Or just... Regular it's, clothes. No, it's just like a brown shirt and uh, shorts. Okay. Uh, Shion, I think we need to make a beeline for Beatrice's before they catch on to who we are. Yeah, let's go. That was close. All right. Yeah. So okay. we're going to hurry our way yep. towards okay. Beatrice's. Sounds good. All right, Damien and Victor, what are you up to? Really quick. <laughs> Good to be a rich mogul visiting the sixth floor. <laughs> <laughs> How about we go to the... What's it called again? The nice hotel here? Uh, the Artlim Hotel. Pretty yes. Yeah. We should get a room there Wait. to... Uh, <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I don't we're trying to. <laughs> they're trying to sell the role. We're trying to sell the role, man. If they see us go into a din, if they see us go into a dingy place, uh, especially with everyone else there, dude, it's gonna already, look suspicious. David, please tell me you didn't do this to flex. <laughs> <laughs> we're already paying five k, and we're giving them a cut of the bets. Can we really afford to do this? I think it will be worth it, and we'll be able to advertise a great fight to all the rich people in the hotel. Yeah, the point. All right, fine. Let's go. I follow your lead. How much was the hotel again? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Let's just... I can't remember. Let's just ask them. Of course. But, uh, if they, um... 
can you pay for the room if that happens? Okay, like it was your <laughs> idea, man. Like, I know, but I, I, I'm not I, made I, of money, I front, okay? Like I, I get that I have connections, I, but I'm not made of money. I know, but I, I, I fronted the five thousand, so I think it's only fair that you know. I mean, I know you're the champ. I mean, you know, if you want to give me the money, I no, mean, you no, should no, give no, me, no. you should, you should give me the points so I I'll can because it. I'm the, because I'm the rich mogul. No, no, you're the champion. It'll look suspicious. Oh, for God. okay, fine. <laughs> Jeez. I'll 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 try and pay for whatever I'll I'll pay for whatever the uh, the cost is and okay, okay. after. He now, sends okay, you, all right. He sends you three thousand points. All right, and I just I just like whoo, I'm just like transforming into my my character. Blah blah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> la li lu le lo. All right, I'm good. <laughs> all right, let us right. enter the hotel. Okay. You enter and you see a few people. They're all like, you could tell. I mean, they're made of money. People in suits, people in dresses. You walk forward and there's a man in a suit at wearing, you know, he's got a mustache. He's at the desk. Welcome, my fine sirs. How may I help you? I take my cape off and I put it, I put it on his face. <laughs> I'm looking for a room. <laughs> he just like stands there for a second, takes the cape off, looks at it. So uh, certainly, he motions and uh, a maid comes out from the side room and he hands the maid the cape. <clears throat> Takes a second, straightens hair. <clears throat> It'll be twenty-five hundred points for two beds for two weeks. Delightful. We'll take it. Certainly. He motions and another uh, maid comes from the side room and motions for you to follow her up the stairs, two sets of stairs behind this man. Don't wait, don't you wanna know who we are? We will cover that. Just make your way to the room, please. Well, I'll cover it right now. Yeah, oh, sorry. I am a representative of the syndicate on the 21st floor. The syndicate. (laughs) Right. You may make your way to your room. And I am hosting a grand tournament. (laughs) After. After you make your way to your room, please come back and we will discuss. All are invited and all can make <laughs> great profit from this. Uh, roll performance. <laughs> oh man. 20. Oh, my God. A 20? Okay. Dirty 20 though, okay, but yeah. Okay. When you say profit, like all the people in suits just go and they all turn their heads and uh, one of the ladies in the dress walks up to you. Oh. Good sir, I couldn't help but overhear. What is it you were referring to? Well, I'm in such a good mood that I'll fill you in. You see, I come from the 21st floor, but I was chosen as a regular. But still, as a representative of the syndicate, I was given a vast fortune to spend on things. And I thought, because this floor has a fighting pit of sorts, At least that's what we call it on my floor. (laughs) You see, I wanted to host a grand fight with my champion here, Mr. Coon Victor. Victor does his usual, you know, looking suave. I see. Well, this is most intriguing. And at this point, everyone in the room starts to gather around and they're asking you questions like, where's it taking place? You know, I'm assuming you're answering them all, you know. Absolutely. Uh, You can tell there is a genuine interest in all of them. And uh, at this point, the maid is just standing there. Sirs, <laughs> if you could please come this way. Of course, of course. We can discuss it all later. Let me bring my... Let me go to my room and take a bath. All right. Victor doesn't say anything. He's letting you handle all this. <laughs> he follows you to your room. It's just right up the stairs. And in the, at the very end, you got a beautiful view of the mountains and the desert. Um, you have your own private, you know huge bath in the bedroom, two luxurious beds, soft cushiony, uh, and all kinds Uh, of things. Well, this is smaller than what I usually deal with, but I suppose it will do for now. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Uh, The the maid just says, well, great. This is your room, uh, room uh, 110. Um, This is your key. She hands you a key. Now, if you'd please follow me back to, so we can finalize the the arrangement. But of course. Have you met my associate, Coon Victor? 
I, uh, I... He's not. He's not very talkative. Victor, but uh... he really is quite the talker when he wants to be. <laughs> Victor, uh, Victor looks at the maid and gives her a wink, and you can tell she kind of blushes. Quiet talker. Uh, yes. Uh, it's good to meet you, sir. Oh. Um, no, Very good. Follow me back so we can uh, finish. Um, she leads you back, and the man who is standing. While you're on your way back, Victor whispers, Why did you throw your cape at him? Like, that's not. What, what was that about? Like, that was weird. I'm being a, I'm being a rich mogul. That's what they do. Oh. <laughs> that's what they do. Okay. I'm just, you know, I'm, I, like, I, I, I per personally, I've, I've experienced this. So, you know, I'm just kind of copying what they do. 21st floor oh, must be weird. All right, let's go. And uh, you make your way back, and the gentleman asks for your names. I am the great Damien of the syndicate on the 21st floor. Damien. And this is Mr. Kuhn Victor. Kuhn Victor. Okay, got it. All right. 2,500 points. You'll be here for two weeks. You have access to all of our services, including our spa, including our private gardens, and the like. Any questions? Delightful. It sounds delightful. I will partake in all of it. Fantastic. Well, we hope to see you around, Sir Damien. Ah, one more thing. I may have an associate coming here, and he will give you some flyers. Would you mind if, um... I mean, I pay the poor fool, but... Would you be willing to give this to any guests who we would be interested? We don't usually do that sort of thing. But then you notice there's a bunch of rich people in the room who go, Flyers, that sounds incredible. And, you know, you get them talking once again. You can tell they are excited. You can tell this is new for them. And the man kind of... <sighs> <clears throat> <laughs> 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 yes! All according to plan. <laughs> well, I suppose we can make an exception for this one time. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Very good, my good man. Now I would like to eat a shrimp cocktail. Please <laughs> bring one to my room immediately. <laughs> You this may... man has been fake rich for like an hour. <laughs> <It's already gone. laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. So uh, you make your way back to your room then? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Oh, and I text. I text everyone that right. you know that I you know the, the, like my reason for come going to the hotel and stuff. Okay. Let's all, let's <laughs> all get some updates there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. For and sure. and I, I tell them it's really not as great as it you know it's it's really not that great you know it's just like He's so it's not worth the cost. <laughs> I text, right. back, to, I text back to the group chat. Victor, is it really not all that great? Victor sends a couple pictures of the bath and the rooms and the and everything. And the shrimp cocktail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go with the eyebrow raise emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um. At this point, Brack, you know, the day is winding down. Roll, well, you know, day's passing by. Roll performance for me again. Come on, Brack. This is your Bring moment. it home. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Different dock. Different dock. Okay, okay. We're black lightning right here. Up. Okay. Black lightning. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. It just ain't my day. Eight. Oh. <laughs> Eight? Okay. All right. Can I join him? Can I join him and give him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Let's, so, yeah. Uh, we'll say you met up with Brack. And I just pop in him? while he's doing this. Oh, you, okay, okay. You pop in. Yeah. So, yeah. What do I need to do to give him another role? Actually, when, when you're doing something like this, so, like, what are you doing in particular to help? Uh, let's say that I come in and just, like, I don't, I don't know. I have a plan. We're just improvising. We'll just improvise some sort of showmanship to make the fight more exciting. Okay, then I'm going to say you probably roll your own performance. Roll my own performance? Yeah. Okay. Well, that works just fine. I don't even know what my performance is, but I don't know if it matters. It's it doesn't matter. Fun. Okay. It's 21 in this one. <laughs> Poor Brad, man, you come in and you instantly get that 21. <laughs> <laughs> 
so, so, yo, Brack, you're trying your best, but I think you're fi you're finding it difficult sometimes to find new things to say, you know. But you, you know, you're, the energy is there, the passion is there. But <laughs> once Wu <laughs> arrives, Wu, go ahead and give your your own speech here. I just come in with like, um, I'll summon Mizaru, and he's gonna dance around as I uh, <laughs> okay. take take a page out of Damien's book and kind of descend from the sky real quick. Sure. You know? Sure. Mizuru doing his best, giving a little happy dance, and the crowd's like, oh, wow, whoa, look at that. And, uh, look, guy, yeah. Brack, you, Brack, you good? This is just a real quick whisper. Yeah, I was only able to get a few people. Good luck. <laughs> let's, let's get a few right now. Let's spar real quick. Oh. Oh, you want to throw hands with me? Oh, I'm sure. I've been waiting on this. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I turn, and then I turn to the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, and all of you weirdos out there, listen and listen good. There's about to be a fight for the ages tomorrow. And if you want a quick sample, promise you, it'll be ten times the fight you see before you tonight. That entices a lot of people. They're watching with bated breath. And then Brack and I square up. Okay. I'm going to say each of you roll athletics for me. Oh, I'm sorry, Wu. <laughs> That's fine. What'd you get? A nat 20. You go for it, man. Go for it. <laughs> Brack, what do you want to do while you're squaring up? So, Brack isn't like trying to like show off too much. Okay. But it, before the fight starts, I'm I'm, I'm a little sad about myself not doing this right here. But before the fight starts, he leaves his staff behind. Uh, he leaves his harpoon behind. Woo. As we square up, he has no weapon uh, in his hand. Okay. So then he just whispers under his breath, one with the poon. And he swims in the shinsu. No, 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 He swims up to the stone and sweeps Wu's leg and holds the harpoon at his throat. Bro, okay. you don't. You realize this is worse than the the last thing you said, which is like, how does it feel to kneel before my rod? Now you're one with the poon, dude. What is going? That's literally the name of one of the. That is the name of his technique. To be clear, it's the name of his technique. Okay. I bet. I bet. As long as that's what the technique is called. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Brack immediately warps to the harpoon in an instant, sweeps you woo, you barely have a chance to respond, oh harpoon at your throat. And the crowd just, they pause, and instantly everyone just starts clapping. Like, people stopped and they're, you know, Mizuru's still dancing and everyone just roars with clapping. <laughs> that was amazing! I I've reached down, give, uh, uh, give him my hand to woo to pe help him up. I grab his hand and uh, appreciate the assistance. <laughs> Pull him up, top him on the back, be like, ah, that, was, that was good. I think we got a lot of people. Yeah, that'll get us a show. I'm kind of like rubbing my back in pain and shit. <laughs> right. uh, yeah. So, uh, make sure you come to the training grounds tomorrow at, what time is it, Brad? It's, it's at 5 p.m. 5 p.m.? To see a show even crazier than this one. Everyone starts whispering, 5 p.m., 5 p.m. I'm, I'm gonna tell my friends! And uh, you notice, um, wait, actually, never mind. You just see, you, you notice there's, there's residents of the town, there's regulars there. You even notice a few guards kind of catch, you know, catches their attention and they're like, oh, okay, okay. And uh -oh. Uh, the crowd starts to uh, fizzle out. Right. We gotta talk to uh, Timmy one more time. All right, you're going to be doing most of the talking. The last time no, I no. talked, he didn't like what I had to say. I have somewhere to be. I thought I could entrust it to you. Okay, but I'll go. <laughs> but just tell I mean, him about what's happening tomorrow, and make it worth his while to participate. Oh, I could do that. 
Right, I'll meet you back at, at, our, at our roof. All right. Take care of that back of yours. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I'll take a bath with a nice long sip of strawberry water. Yeah. How the hell did you find my stash? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Wu, where are you headed exactly? Uh, back home to uh, okay. perfect to Beatrice's motel. Okay. I want to talk to Leaf. That's my last order yeah. of business for the night. Sure. So Damien and Victor, they're at Artlum Hotel. Eden and Shion, you're making your way back. Uh, really quick, uh, we're just gonna. Oh, 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 oh. What do you think that commotion was about, Victor? <laughs> Awfully late for them Damien, to be Damien, we're by running about in our hotel room. You don't have to keep yourself, you know. Like, we can oh, stop. you're right. Sorry. It's, it's just... Just calm down, buddy. It's, it's okay. just so fun I don't think to, play a, to play a venture capitalist with shady backgrounds. Do you have experience with this kind of thing? No. Crazy but I, I, I like to pretend I do, though. I've seen shows and movies. Right. Right. Okay. Well, you're pretty good at it. I'm kind of impressed. Um, and at this point, Brack, you make your way to Timian's. So, as I approach, I knock on the door. Come in, uh, come in, please. So, Brack steps to the door. Hey, how's it going there, T? Oh, um, you. Uh, hello. Yes. Hey. <clears throat> Uh, we, we, we got a proposition for you. Why don't you come on down to the training grounds tomorrow around roughly 5 p.m. to witness a bout and maybe, you know, you can win yourself a little bit of money. A bout, you say? A tournament? A competition? That yes. That is my attention. First, it starts out with a preliminary against little, little young leaf. The prodigal plant warrior versus the yellow flash the blur from wherever he's from but his name is gasu he's great he's very strong and yeah you should you should definitely come i see money to be made okay i will Lots certainly be there that certainly captures my attention you wouldn't require anything from me now would you we need his financing. We need for you to uh, help us with backing this. How would you like me to back this? I mean, cash rules everything around me. Cream. <laughs> That's what we need. <clears throat> Lots of it. Know what I mean? Do you mean as a kind of sponsor? Yes. I'm interested. If you're certain this sort of event can make money, it sounds... I've actually heard talk of this event, so that's the reason why I'm already interested. How much money were you requiring? A lot. <laughs> A At least five number. figures. At least five figures. I would be willing to pay you 10,000 points if... You if, advertise if. my shop during the performance, during the games. You double that and you got a deal. You have to advertise my shop at the beginning, during the break, and at the end of the fights. Are we clear? We got you. You have yourself a deal, my friend. I'll shake your hand. All right, he shakes it. 20,000 points. Do you need it now? How would you... Uh, how would you uh, first, you must sign a... <laughs> I saw <laughs> I was going to say, now, please. <laughs> uh, he, no. <laughs> I, I, we, we, we would need that now. I'm going to say that when you shake his hand, you're reminded that he's wearing, like, six different rings. Um, but also, uh, contract. Uh, you must sign this. And he pulls out a contract. Just writes a bunch of words. Uh, he signs it, hands it to you, and there's just a bunch of writing. Better read the contract, man. I'm I'm sorry, I can't I can't read this exactly at this moment, but don't worry, I have don't a person worry. that can. It's, it's it's 
Come in tomorrow or any time and you can have this signed and then I'll give you the points. I'll be back. And then I'll leave out with the contract. I'm heading towards uh, 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 Eden. Okay. At this point, Jong, you are back at Beatrice's. What are you currently doing? Um, he is sitting in his room, just sort of staring at his sword, kind of somewhat meditating, but is like just very clearly lost yeah. in thought. Okay. While you're meditating, you hear, Jong, Jong, and knock on the door. Who is it? I, I think Eden and she, I see Eden and Shion, and they, they have someone with them. One minute, and he puts his weapon down and gets up and goes outside the door. Okay. And in the hallway, Eden, you you make your way to Beatrice's. And I'm going to say really quick, like five seconds before, Beatrice mm -hmm. looks at you in her chair. Who is that? Oh, you don't need to worry about him. He's just, uh, mm. he's just here for the night. She's like looking at him. I feel like I've seen you before. Uh, whatever. Go about your business. <laughs> Absolutely. And she like wraps an arm around Shion, wraps an arm around Ernest, and hustles them up the stairs. <laughs> okay, all right. You hustle them up, and you see Jong and Leaf at the top of the stairs. I is that? Hi, guys. In the room. Quiet. Now. Quick, 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 quick. Who is that? Ernest, you know who this is. And she shoves everybody in, in the boys' don't. room and shuts the door. Okay. Well, um, there's some information, um, and some nefarious things going on. Uh, we found Ernest. This is Ernest. Hi, Ernest. Uh, my group. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, so. Ernest was affiliated with the bandits that, you know, those guys took out. Um, he knows that we didn't do it, but it was, you know, the clown girl and, and the purple flame guy. So, um, yeah. Uh, but he confirmed our suspicions that the bandits weren't actually this nefarious group of people that have been bothering. They were just literally trying to get by. Um... Which makes the city guards' standpoint about their little deal that they tried to give us a little bit not true. Which makes me wonder why they'd want them taken out if they're trying to be the benevolent city guards trying to take care Oops. Uh, that was on <laughs> me. I was, uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, you know? Don't worry about it. We're back. <laughs> that wasn't just- that wasn't, I'm sorry, that wasn't Discord. I just hit the, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, please, sorry. Back up like 20 seconds, that's on me. Don't worry about it, sorry. Okay, so Ernest here is affiliated with the bandits that we didn't kill and the city guard, one of them killed, which makes their whole proposition to us really, it doesn't hold water because if they were just trying to like survive, why would the city guard want them wiped out when they're trying to battle all this corruption in the city and they're not helping, apparently, the people of this city? I got a really bad feeling that this was all a setup and their deal that they offered us is only going to destabilize the city further and is going to increase their power. So, did. Why yeah. did you bring this guy here? Because, as we were talking with him in the residential section, um... Somebody or some people started to come for him, so I wanted to get him out of there because if he's got information on Timian and the city guard, we kind of need his... We need to help him. Wait, wait. You were being followed? Yeah. We lost him, though. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, we're fine. Brack and Wu were doing something in the middle of the street, and we just scurried on by. Um, I don't <laughs> think anyone saw us. And speaking of which, Wu, at this point, you're approaching Beatrice's. The old lady's rocking outside. She just looks at you. Oh, you're muted, uh, Wu. Said, hey, Granny, nice night. I, I said, my hey, name Granny. is Beatrice. I know your name. I just didn't think you could hear me. 
<laughs> My hearing is perfectly fine. Well, appreciate you. You need anything? Don't make me raise the rates on you. <gasps> we oh, already God. paid for the month. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> uh, I scurry inside real quick. Right, yep. So as you scurry inside, you hear voices coming from one of your rooms. It's Eden talking. Uh, wait. You found him. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, we did. Come in, tell, come in, come in, come in. I pull Woo in and shut the door. You can tell the more the, people that are there, Ernest is getting more and more nervous. Hey, and Ernest, I, uh, you remember me. I Ernest. saw you last night. No need to be nervous. You all swear it wasn't, it wasn't you? It wasn't us. What do you mean, it wasn't us? We didn't kill the bandits. It was that clown girl and the purple flame guy. Apparently this kid is friends with the bandits. Who oh. were not actually as bad as the city guard made them out to be. Well, I could have told you that, but no, we didn't kill the bandits. We just took credit for it. And I know that's a really scummy move, but we need points, so. Yeah. There are but. bandits, but it can't be them. They're... Just relax, I... relax, Ernest... take a breath. Have Trust you eaten? Me. Have you eaten? He shakes his head. She gets you something to eat, man. Just relax, and then we can I'm talk. Hungry. I... The reason I was even... I feel so bad. Timian kept talking about his stuff being stolen, and... Sometimes it was me. What do you mean? You were stealing from Timmy? Yeah. Hmm. What I was doing stealing? it for them though, and now they're they're gone, and it just I I just feel like I've betrayed everyone that trusted me. It's, hey. Are they who were they to you, family? I I was one of them. People yeah. on this floor who who couldn't find a place or a job. Why why is this floor like that? Some people say it's, it all started when with the testing bureau. They're the ones to blame. They've corrupted this the city watch. The merchants only care about money. Mm. Would you say the guild has the biggest hand in that at this point? They're the ones that locked up my friends. They probably lied about the thieves. I don't know at this point. I just know that the people who've been killing the bandits who've been stealing. Yeah, we, we stole some trinkets and some food, but that's it. We're not killers. We're just trying to get by. And I'm I'm the only one that was lucky enough to actually get a job. Yeah. I pull Eden aside. Mm. Yes. This this is bigger than us. It's way bigger than us. What do we do? I think we need to help him as best we can and try and get his, the only two people he has left out of the city guard's jail and then hopefully... We're gonna need them. another plan. Guys, don't we kind of have other things going on right now? We do. We do. We do. Leaf says, yeah, but he needs help, right? And then right. Shion, Shion says, yeah, but... We, no. We can't We're help gonna... everyone we come across. But we're gonna help him. Or at least I will. Can't speak for the rest of you. It'll How be do you fine. plan on helping him? Hmm. That's something I have yet to figure out. But we'll make it a, a possibility. We got time. Yeah. Either way, you're right. We got more pressing issues. We're not gonna solve this tonight. No, but we need the information and we need to keep him protected because I don't know if it's the city guard that's after them. Then... We might need him to lay low here for a while. And, you know, maybe trying to get his friends out of jail if they're wrongly accused or bail him out or something. Yeah, I mean, we have to figure out a way to deal with the guild and the city guard. This seems a little more problematic than I thought of at first. But, Ernest, while you're here, 
The one thing I do need to clarify is how you feel about Tibian overall. He's... A lot of my friends, <clears throat> they hated him and they thought I shouldn't work for him because of how rich he is, but I don't think he's a bad guy. How did he treat you? Fine. He paid me like he promised, and just, I don't know. He probably only saw me as a way to make money, but even if that's true, it's better than the way the City Watch treated me. What did the City Watch do to you personally? Growing up on the streets, starving, they don't even care. If we get even a little too close to the main district, we're run out like we're some kind of plague. After I got a job, everything changed. They didn't look at me weird anymore. Yeah. Look, Ernest, I'm going to do everything in my power to help you, okay? If Timian, if we can get Timian on to work, <laughs> if we can get Timian to work with us or for us, I think that might actually help the city more than it's going to hurt it. And at that point, uh, Brack, you're starting to approach Beatrice's. And the Beatrice just stares at you as you walk up. Do you walk inside? What up, Jima? <laughs> She's gonna say something and then bites her tongue. <laughs> uh, you hear talking, you walk up, and uh, you, assuming you join in the conver conversation. Hey guys, uh, I have a contract here from Timian, but oh, see seems talking. pretty tense in here. It worked out. Yeah, he agreed to 15k. Here, let me see that. No, 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 no. I, I, I need Eden to read this. Leader, me. read this. Omit okay. the number that you see, though, leader. It, he, he really meant 15. The extra five is for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really low. That's not going to cover many bets. I. Okay. All right, the whole twenty k is for everyone. God damn it! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what, what are the what are the parameters of the twenty k? You asked him to sponsor. All he asked for is to promote his shop at the beginning, at the beginning of the preliminary and at the beginning of the actual fight. Eden, is there anything in the contract that says how we need to promote it? Uh, I'll scan through it real quick to. It's after yeah. pain. It's is just it details about you know make sure like thirty second promotion beginning middle and end one minute in the middle. Uh, okay. And uh, he puts down you know as a little side note maybe even wearing t shirts representing the shop. Uh, that goes too far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's too much. <laughs> um. But that's about it. It's just like, you know, and just like liabilities and all that. It's nothing, nothing seems off. Okay, um, nothing, nothing shady about it. Right, but like the money he's okay. given you, it's like you're, he's basically entrusting you with it. And you okay. get the impression it's not necessarily like for the bets. Um, you, It could be, but most of the uh, money is going to be the people putting it into the pot, basically. Got it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. So yep, 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 that's yep. gonna be where a majority of the revenue comes from. Roger. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. This this looks sound. Do you want me to sign it? Yes. Okay. Odd. Eden will digitally sign it on the pocket. Okay. Sounds good. What, what's Ernest just looks around? What are you all planning? It's nothing bad. We're honestly gonna try and trick the city out of points so we can take our test and get out of here. Uh, Eden, I don't know if I should just be telling random people about that. We're gonna help him, Jong. It's fine. Yeah, but he's what? He's what? Jong, he needs our help. The whole city needs our help. 
Let's the whole city up. isn't our problem, Wu. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a hundred different floors in this tower. Are we gonna solve everybody's problem on every single floor? Of course it's not our problem, but Ernest is our problem. And I told him I'll help him, so we're gonna help him. She if you don't want to, that's on you. She don't kind of size. You know, I... We can't do this for everyone, but you're right. He is our problem now. Can't just leave him, John. Fine. Do whatever you want. Okay. Um, Brack. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, there's so much going on. Ernest, is there anything specifically we would need to know about Timian? Anything that strikes you as odd, or have you heard of any connections? Anything that we could use to potentially help get Timian more on our side? Um, he's a member of the council, he's rich. He just kind of repeats a lot of what you've always heard about him. Oh. But then he says, I also get the impression that he has protection. But... What do you mean? I don't know. Whenever I asked about what if someone breaks in or what if something happens, he always just chuckled and said it'd be fine. And it just... It was as if he didn't have to worry about that at all. Hmm. So, he's not a... Considering the connections he has, he's not a ranker, is he? No, he's not even a regular. Okay. Okay. All right. But if he um, has the pull that he's that he that everybody claims he has, he might have connections with rankers just the same. Very. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Ernest, I want you to stay here tonight. Okay. All right. Nothing. Nothing bad's gonna happen. You'll you'll be protected one hundred percent. Um. Brack, you, uh, you and I, we need to go take a trip to Timian's before he closes down for the night. And, well, okay. Group, group, uh, thoughts. I think we need to tell Timian what the city guard's doing and try to get him on our side. If we can get his political sway and his money behind us, we might actually be able to do something. If the city guard is actually corrupt with the testing bureau, and has people just going and killing people for no reason that are no threat to the city, then we might need to, um, actually, I mean, I, I actually agree with you. I just the think enemy that of the, en the enemy of my enemy is my friend at this point. Yeah. Right? I still think we don't need to, like, I agree with you. I think that's what we should do. Let's just yeah. not give Timmy and all the information. Well, also the city guard said there'd be consequences for us if we told him about it. So we can't just be, telling him that there's a hit out for him we can't give him the whole we need to play certain bits of information close to the chest but we can give timmy and something to get him to trust us like I what that's fair tell him a bit of the story not the whole thing hmm. are you sure he's gonna stay quiet he's on the city council no uh, as a matter of fact if he has friends in high places like Ernest claims he'll probably make them make a move and then we'll be able to discern our next course of action based off of that. Yeah, but if the city guard figures out that he made a move against them, the only way that he would know that is if it came from us. No. We can't have anything tracing back to us. John, you overestimate our play in this. We just got here today. Clearly there's tensions between them that are running deeper than this. Who's to say that we told them anything? They wouldn't have that information. We're sitting here planning a whole event. When did we plan to tell Timmy anything? Plus, what we said to them was we would have him dead by the by the contracted hour. If that still ends up happening, I'm not saying that that's what we're going to do, they have no reason to doubt us. Okay. And we're still planning on the big event tomorrow, right? Yeah. Speaking of which, Leaf, yeah. come with me for a bit. Come with you? Yeah. Okay, sure. And as you're starting to leave the room, suddenly from the lower floor, you hear, wait, ah! you hear Beatrice, you you can't just come in. And then you hear the door open up, kind of kicked open. You, 
and you're just hearing her like trying to stop and you hear footsteps coming into the building. Oh shoot. Quick, hide the kid. Clinking. Yeah. yeah. Hide, hide, hide him now. Yep. Uh shove him under a bed. Okay. <laughs> There's not much else in here. <laughs> yep. He, he hides under the bed. Everyone kind of just can questions. I, can I like move into the hallway in a drunken stupor? <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's there? You're making so much noise. I was trying to sleep. Armor clinks as you hear three sets of footsteps walk up. You see three guards. Hoban, Brack, oh. you recognize the guard that attacked you as the second one. And then at the front, you see Rowan. And he looks at you, kind of just smiles, and then looks towards the, the room and just says, We need to talk. And with that, we're going to end today. Oh, oh no! Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, what a relaxing night, isn't it? He's <laughs> <laughs> in the sweet no, right now, man. There oh, is no God. drama whatsoever. Oh, my God. So comfortable. He convict out at 3K. <laughs> so that he can stay in a fancy <laughs> suite. Yeah, this I mean, swallow down caviar. Oh, <laughs> I could live like this forever. <laughs> you know, why don't we stay on this floor longer? <laughs> Davey's gonna freaking give up his climb. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yes, thank you for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed the episode. I gotta say, not the direction I thought it would head in, but I think it's great, you know? Uh, I think the decisions that were made are gonna make for an interesting next one, next episode. So you definitely don't wanna miss it. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Don't forget to leave a like if you did have fun and enjoyed this episode. And you know, if you if you wanna follow these people, you know, they're all amazing, talented creators. Their links are down below, as always. Join the Discord to continue the conversation if you have theories or discussion, or wanna post memes and fan art, all that is down below. Uh, any other thoughts from everyone about everything? I'm salty about that cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we could use Rowan. Yeah. I thought we could use him primarily because the commander was like, hey, don't tell him. Don't get him involved in this. I was like, oh, where? You don't want him in here? Okay, we about what to bring him in. <laughs> what will happen? <laughs> who will live and who will no die? And this week, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's and he brought the goon that assaulted me. Yeah, well, you yeah. have a chance for revenge. He did. Yo, he got in the wound. He's gonna fight you. He's gonna fight you, bro. <laughs> it's all right. We're in a small space, and I'm a big dude. <laughs> we all know how that goes when you playing the souls. Like when you in a big, when you in a small room with a big enemy, you can't see anything. It's all good. <laughs> it's not, I'm a smother him. <laughs> Enough. You just they walk in and the, the text appears Brack Bronson, oh the God. health bar. <laughs> the health bar. Uh -huh. <laughs> they just see my smiling face right before I fall on them. <laughs> oh, amazing. But yeah, thank you all again. Hopefully we'll see you next week, 7 p.m. Eastern time. But until then, take care and uh, we'll see you then. Bye, Bye. everyone. Yes.